welcome to the club. My club are mental, aren't they? 21 is coming. You're chatting gas. <laughs> Embarrassing. Oh, f off, ref! Most toxic fan base in the world are Arsenal. Liverpool, the worst champions ever. <laughs> Yes, what's happening, everyone? Ooh. What a game we have in store today. This is what it's all about. This is the Premier League. I am genuinely buzzing for it here to go through this game today to help us dissect the beauty of the Premier League. It's the one and only Boovy, and we are joined by a very special guest. It's Miles. Miles, thank you very much for coming on. Feeling good about this? Uh, yeah. It's about it's about as much. <laughs> it's, no, this is a great. It's a great opportunity for Arsenal. I reckon this game because if if you are to have any chance of winning the league, I think this is must win. Yeah. Certainly must not lose. Yeah, yeah, I think we can draw it just. Just, just about. Yeah. It, it's thin, isn't it? It all depends on the man of the Thin as a Rizzler paper, some would yes. say. Yeah. Um, but I, th I think Arsenal have got it. There are moments in time where you've got to transcend where you are as a football team. Yeah. Okay? Not, not every team is born champions, right? Chelsea, when they got taken over, they hadn't won a league in, in, in decades. And then they became champions. If Arsenal are going to win the league for the first time in 20 odd years, they have to become champions. They have to beat Liverpool. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I think. I think the other thing that comes from from beating Liverpool, it's not only the three points. The three points are huge. Arsenal desperately need three points. Mm. But it's a statement that Arsenal will make if they beat Liverpool. Like their their title credentials took a major hit when they lost those two London derbies consecutively. Mm. Bearing in mind one of them was away at Fulham. You know, it's all very well losing to West Ham and some some on some level you can rationalise that maybe. Mm, yeah. To some degree. On some level, it can be rationalised, maybe. But you can't then follow it up, losing to Fulham, off the back of going 1-0 yeah. up. Yeah. So, because of those results, because of those fairly pitiful results, today is a must-win game. What a game this is going to be. It is going to be spectacular. I cannot wait yeah, today, for it. Today, there's a lot of there's a lot of Arsenal fans saying, oh, you know what, uh, if we draw, it's not so bad. And But I think they're just deflecting. At the end of the day, we know if Arsenal lose this today, we're mm. back. We're, we're in a top four race. I think it depends what your ambitions are. You know, if you're if you're an Arsenal fan and you're talking about a draw being okay, I understand. In context, I, though, because if we're losing, if they if we're you losing, nick it two, last yeah, minute. If we're losing two 0 and then we Shows come back two one and then two two, we don't want to draw. But, but we're sat here in we'll the present the day and we're talking about Arsenal, one of the biggest clubs in the country, and you're kind of un I think you're underdogs at home against Liverpool. And Liverpool, whatever we say about you know, the, the Jurgen Klopp side that won the Champions League a few years ago, this is, a, this is not the same side. It's, it's a side in transition. How have they been able to transition before Arteta's transitioned in a four or five year spell at Arsenal? I wouldn't say it's very, it's very slow. Yeah. It's, a very, it's, like the, it's like the turning of the Titanic at Arsenal. Necessarily. This is his fourth, I mean? nah, not fourth year. Guardiola won a, a title with, within one year. No, no, don't Con do that. Don't do that. Conte took Chelsea from tenth to, to the league. Mm. Mourinho very similar in his second spell. So it's like, mate, yeah, but you've just how long is this Arsenal thing going to go on? You just mentioned managers that came from other leagues and won trophies before. Come yeah. on, take get, take it. Put it's in all, context all relative, that Arteta has never managed before. He's he's coming to his fourth year, just like Klopp took took, took, took Klopp four years. Yeah. to get this this Liverpool train running. You, you mentioned Pep Guardiola. Yeah, he's a, one of the best managers, if not the best manager yeah. in the world. Coming it's into, not fair. It's coming not into fair. a team that's got loads example. of money. Do you know what, though, Miles? But I'm, you, I think we, what you're saying is correct. But he needs to kick football isn't this. Like you're, you're kind of going, yeah, but you know, we, we were dealt a different hand and therefore we can <gasps> rationalise it and we can make sense of it. And, and a lot of that is true. Mm. But ultimately, it's Arsenal Football Club. You've been knocking on the door for four years. Something needs to happen now, I have been knocking on the door for two. Okay, you've been... You've, Oh, yeah, the, first the thing is, when he first went in, when he first went in, but when years. he first went in and they won the cup, it felt to me like something good was going on. It felt to me like there was something moving in the right place, uh, right direction. So, um, so we'll see. But yeah, this is going to this be is a big game, man. this is going to be huge. But I'm really, just, really excited. For yeah, it. there's pressure on Arsenal, but it's just there's... they've already knocked you out of the cup this year, haven't they? Yeah. And we played, we played good at that game as well. That's the well, thing. I, I was chatting to Robbie Law about the game, and, and he said, oh, we had 17 shots on target and all sorts. And it was like, mate, you lost the game at home to, 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 to Liverpool. Yeah. Do you know was. what I mean? We took, we took something. You know what? The, the thing about that game is uh, we, got, we got better in our performance. The game against Fulham, it was rubbish. It was dire. And we needed to see a better performance. Obviously, we wanted to win. We lost. Went away to Nottingham Forest. Got the result. Good performance. Good a performance. Bit, good bit shaky at the yeah. end, but that happens. as football. One goal yeah. can change the whole trajectory of the game. I just mm. want to see a good performance today. I think that we could get something out of this. No, team. no, I don't think it's about that. I don't think I don't think it's got anything to do with the way that you play today. Ugly. I think I think Well, ugly. It's got yeah, to be, yeah. it can be ugly. It can be anything. The, ugly basically, 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 when we get to the, when we get to when we get to the full-time whistle, 
It's a really good day at the office for Arsenal if they've got the three points. It's a really bad day at the office if they've been beat. There's no, there's no middle ground. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you play yeah, well. Yeah, but draws not the end of the world though. Because if oh, we, it is if you win. It's if not it, really. What do you want? Yeah. What do you want this season? It's not really. What do you want? I want you want to win the league. Then but we're still the, in February, boys. You don't win the league by drawing to a great side like Liverpool. Who oh, don't who, win who, the league? You got to beat. Who, who, got to, no, beat I want to win. They're top of the league. You got to beat them. Yeah, lot, I want to win. I want to beat. Where's the fight? No, where's the passion? We went to their ground and we got a draw at their ground. So I believe that if we come to this. If we, when they come to the Emirates, if you win, the bare minimum we should get now yeah. is a draw. The I'm not bantering you. If you win, I'll be saying hands in the air. Fair enough. But there have been some super chats that have come in, and you know what happens when there's a super chat? We got to read them out. Apparently, we do indeed. Um, <laughs> let's uh, have a look then, Jack. Where are we at? Uh, what a day! Chelsea get battered and Boovy looking sexy. Wow. Oh wow. What do you think about that, Ross? The sexy bit or the Chelsea bit? What do you want to address? Uh, I mean, I take issue with both. I've got, I've got a lot to say on both both suggestions. Exactly. Um, no, you are you are looking rather resplendent today. I've got, oh, thank I've you. Got, you too, Matt. Thank you, Mark. Very, very oh, I'm the best looking guy on YouTube, so they do something. Um, <laughs> uh, with regards to Chelsea, I mean, it's a disgrace, isn't it? They, it like, it's genuinely a disgrace. Did it finish 4-1? We were four, four going two. live. 4-2. Silver, Thiago Silva scored late. Oh. Oh, um, the, the trouble is... There isn't really anything surprising about this. Gary O'Neill is a better manager than Mauricio Pochettino. Mauricio Pochettino is completely out of his depth. He doesn't deserve the job. We've employed a Tottenham manager and we've turned into Tottenham. Like, it's, it's what's happened. And if you look at what Gary O'Neill has done at that team, not only, in fact, at Wolves, but what he did prior to that at Bournemouth, he has the ability to, to totally galvanise a team, to make them fight, to make them hungry, and to, to make them a team all pulling in the same direction. Richie Pochettino hasn't improved Chelsea since Frank Lampard was made. No, I can't think of one single standout player, really. Obviously, Cole Palmer a little bit here and there. No, but, well, 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 don't but, do that. But that's don't, individual don't, no, brilliance. Don't, don't justify that. Though, because yeah. what you do, what I think people do, and I don't I don't get it, but I feel like almost accidentally, Booth, you've tapped into this, this trend that protects Pochettino. There seems to be... Like, you know when you think about the criticism that's that's previously been levelled at Eric Ten Hag or the criticism that has previously been levelled at Mikel Arteta a couple of years ago when they were losing at home to Burnley. The way that we all treated, not me, but you two, certainly treated Frank Lampard. The way that you treated Graham Potter. I don't think that anybody holds Mauricio Pochettino to the same standard. Mm. He's a better coach than both of them. Why is he? He is. He's just, he's, his record speaks for itself. He took to, Tottenham to a Champions League final. Obviously, no, what's that not, mean? I'm not going to count. Better than who, sorry? Oh, who, who do we say? So he's better he... than Graham Potter and he's better than Frank Lampard. He... Yeah, yes, but, but he's got but a better history based, at the moment. But it's he's not plays better football. But it's not better. Ba- boy, when? But going off his previous better, history, that's the reason I, why you... Yeah, Graham, Graham Potter's Brighton played better football than any team Pochettino has been. I don't know about uh, that. No, 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 not Tottenham. Not they played Spurs pretty good football, no, that Tottenham no, no, no. team. They were, they were good. They, they were, were scintillating at points. They were scintillating. They were. At White Hart Lane, they were incredibly hard to play against. No, I'm not saying it's one you up, Roars, honestly. They were good, man. They were good. You don't get to a Champions League final just because of luck. You can did you watch their run to the Champions League yeah, final? I think they there. proved. I think they proved that you can get there just because of luck. Did you watch that game against Ajax? No, no. Yes, I did. But that's not luck. They fought all the way to the end and scored. Yeah. I come mean, on, Rory. Come on. It was the luckiest. Yeah. Run, it was. You it need was, luck it was to unquestionably win the, there was the there was luckiest luck. run to the Champions League final. But Richard Pochettino's Tottenham was a force to be reckoned with. They were a good team. And that's what you lot thought he was getting. No, look, yeah, see, they, were good, could, they were a good team, not a great. Yeah. So, a, they were a good great, team. But they, were a, team, a, a they, were team they were a team who who won nothing, which I think is very important. They were a team that repeatedly bottled it when it really was there for them. When they had the opportunity of winning the league, of course, of course, they didn't. When they had the opportunity of winning the cup, they didn't. When they had the opportunity of winning the Champions League, they didn't. And, and if they the were as good as you're or? saying, I I will take issue with it. But if they're as good as you're suggesting, mm. then it's shocking management to be to have a team as good as you're saying they were and win no. The great sides have to win with that talent the great sides have to win mm. good, they, they were a good side they were they were a really good they were I, a great of Premier League era but they were one of the best Spurs the sides two in the things that really years. wind me up with Pochettino firstly I don't think he's a very good manager but I don't think people call it out and why they don't call it out I think is an interesting one why aren't the back pages full of people exploring the benefits because, of Chelsea sacking Mauricio because Pochettino? he hasn't really done anything bad to get called out no, but it's getting to the point now so it's what, bad what Wolves Mars. have just done the double this, over this is the issue Miles it yeah, is yeah, an now, issue yeah now but before prior before that he hasn't. he's not really a bad manager now it's looking bad it's look, because you're losing to Wolves yeah, and yeah, yeah. home and away it's looking bad now but I think it's more than Pochettino I honestly believe uh, that. That's true. No, no. no. The, look, there are there are many issues at Chelsea. Don't get me wrong. I don't. I think a lot of the players aren't very good. I think the way that the club's being run is atrocious. I think that Todd Bowley is the worst thing to have ever happened to Chelsea Football Club in a non-disastrous context. Mm-hmm. But we can still explore Pochettino's contribution to this team. Whatever you think of the players, whatever you think of the recruitment, whatever you think of the board, Chelsea should be in the top half of the Premier League. Yeah, and page two. They're at home conceding four to Wolves. <laughs> 
that struggled last season Mate, scoring goals. It's, Gary, it's, it's season, a miracle that Gary Nils getting the, goals out of the beginning of the season, we thought Wolves were going to go down. Like, yeah. lots of people, including Lopetegui, who was their manager, so Rory, went, you... oh, I can't manage this lot. I'm like, we're done here. So you yeah. believe there's 10 other... Obviously, you're Levitt from the league now. You believe there's 10 better managers than Pochettino in this league right now. Obviously, the league table's showing that, but do you believe that they are? Because I don't think so. I think there's more than 10. No way. There, there are... No. I can't think of a manager that I would prefer... To have at Chelsea than Mauricio Pochettino. Like I can't think of one. His career's going down the drain at the moment. The way oh, they're well, playing, man, it's almost it's almost inexcusable. He, he's downgrading his own. Like you know, we talk about Pochettino going to Barcelona potentially, or or managing it at which the he highest would do, level. By the way, which he would do. It's very important to acknowledge that he is a man who who prides himself and at least makes a statement that he's incredibly loyal. You know, I would never manage Barcelona because of my links with Espanol. Liar. <laughs> Liar. Take away the... He's come to Chelsea. Yeah. He's meant to Liar. be a Tottenham man it, and all that. If Liar. we take away the rationality of it, so let's just say... Liar. Take away the Chelsea fan aspect of it. Is it his last game? No. no. So you think no. that the, the, the no. logistics of getting rid of him won't happen it won't, it won't until solve the next game? So what, do, who no, I think there's a chance. I've it's so bad now it would solve something, Miles. It no, would it solve wouldn't. something. What, the Honestly, manager, but the new well, manager if, if Gary O'Neill can go into Wolves, they've barely got a striker. Yeah. They've got no money. They've had to sell everyone in the summer. <laughs> they're bringing all. They're bringing different and the question is, players through. Who wants to go into Chelsea uh, halfway through the season? They'd halfway through the season. They'd have a queue. They'd have a queue. They'd have a queue. They'd have a queue. Maybe three. Maybe two managers. It's still one of the biggest man. It's still one of the biggest jobs in the world. Name me two managers that would take this job right now. Thomas Frank. Jose Mourinho. With oh, Jose the, Marino. And then anybody... He's outside at, everyone's door. Anybody it's an incredible at smaller project. clubs. Thomas Frank, De Zerbi, all of them. You'll take Jose Mourinho back? I mean, that's my dream. I'll do anything to that's get Jose Mourinho. I'll do anything to get that's Jose Mourinho dream? back now. I would it's do a, is anything. It, I can see why it's, it's a dream. Short term, Mar short Mourinho term. comes back now. It would just be sensational. Immediately, the club would be Plus. totally harmonious. But you know, we said this a year it, ago with Lampard. We did say... And I, I backed you. I was like, mm. Lampard's going to get him playing simple football, back in the youth... And it went, so, do you know what I mean? It went so no, bad, didn't it? It did. But Jose Mourinho is very different. No, of course. Yeah. Of course he is. Jo Jose Mourinho is very different. Jose like, Mourinho. Jo Jose Mourinho is like the dream shout. Jose Mourinho comes back to this league with Chelsea, with this team. Love it. Love it. Like, he's not even going to break it. It can't be someone young. It can't be Do you honestly young. think that... He's finished, Do you Rory. think Mauricio Pochettino is a better finished. manager than Jose Mourinho? Not not necessarily, but I don't think Joseph. I don't think Mourinho's Mourinho finished. I think he's finished in the Premier League. But, but wait, but, so do you think that Pochettino is better than Mourinho? No, he's no, he's not right now. No, so he's got he's not got. So it would be an upgrade. It's yeah, an upgrade. yeah, but I wouldn't. He's, but it's, it would be an upgrade. But how much of an upgrade? What do you want to do, Chelsea? Do you want to challenge for the league? Do you want to get back into Champions League, or do you just want to be about? But sure, if you get Joseph Mourinho, it's just going to be about mid season though. Surely the fact that he's better means that it's not as wild an appointment. Yeah, but you're eleventh now. So what do you want to get to eighth? Because that's where Joseph Mourinho is going to take you. You're not getting into Champions League. But no other manager Jose can Mourinho. get them anywhere. Jose Mourinho. What other manager could do it? G give a manager. Better take managers. away their con their contracts at the respective clubs. G give a manager, because Mourinho is a free agent. Someone that anyone. What would Guardiola do at Chelsea? There's so many gaps in that squad. Oh, Guardiola would get them up. Why would Jose Mourinho... Oh, but but why do you, if you think that Jose Mourinho is better than Pochettino, why do you think Jose Mourinho's ceiling is only eighth? Because Jose nothing Mourinho... In, nothing in Jose Mourinho's track record has suggested that eighth is his ceiling. He's not getting into Champions League then. Or do you well, not, why not? not? Yeah. You're not. You're it's not time with Jose at Rome. It's a dinosaur. It's time at Rome would be an issue. Hang on, this is, a, this is We've, at Tottenham. This, there is a ridiculous rewriting of Jose Mourinho's not achievements in Italy. Rory. His history is this there. But he left Roma what ninth or whatever. He left Roma ninth, having won their first their first European trophy for God knows how long. Their it, first bit of silverware for two decades. He's a cup their manager. He's a cup manager. Okay, we've got a cup final coming up. Yeah, yeah, great. You know me, I back you on the Mourinho show. The, the, you know other, I mean? the other thing, can we just remember? I'd wait. love to. I'd, Jose Mourinho, please come to Chelsea Football so, Club. But, you, I, but I, Miles, I, it's contradictory it. what you're saying. You're saying that he's better than Pochettino, but, but he's it not would that be much wild. better than Rory. He's not that much okay, better. Mid-season, mid-season. But why not? You can't change your philosophy mid-season. So, so you think that Jose Mourinho's ceiling at Chelsea is eighth? Sixth at best. You're not getting into Champions League. And for someone like your... But we're not getting into Champions League no manager is, Miles. What manager would be? Oh, God. So if Jose Mourinho comes now and you're eleventh now, where does he take? Wh wh what would be satisfy satisfying for you? Win the cup against you're Liverpool. You're not winning the cup against battered. Liverpool. You're not. Rather than just get battered. It could. Respectfully, they're not. They're not. They nearly beat him in the not. cup twice. I mean, in, in the league but, cup. But, but again, with Jose Mourinho in charge, it's very difficult to write. It's very difficult to say that with with P Pochettino, somebody who you've seen lose final after final. Yeah. You can you can totally <laughs> yeah. legitimately say you're not winning that final, and I couldn't say much. Mm. But with Jose Mourinho, somebody who you've seen repeatedly win cup final after cup final. Yeah. It's quite difficult for you to go. You're not winning that cup final with like, Mourinho in charge. With his players. 
Mm. I don't yeah. see Jose Mourinho coming half. Jose Mourinho doesn't do. We got a better chance do in the League Cup final with Mourinho at the, at the helm. Well, because Jose Mourinho's on the touchline. Yeah, no, that's a factor. Cup finals are huge. Oh, yeah, Vibu, come on, man. man. He's finished. But what do you want from Chelsea? Wait, what they can't philosophically mean? change. So, so you think he's, he's a better dinosaur. than Pochettino? Again, this is so he's a dinosaur. He's finished. He's better than Pochettino. Yep, yeah, brother. He could be better than Pochettino. I'm thinking for you, Rory. Right. But Chelsea you Football Club. But do you think you, the, you, you think you that see your team up finished? Pochettino. Yeah. It was looking like he's finished right now. Yeah. He is. But you And but, do you think he's a dinosaur? But your replacement is Jose Mourinho. Right. That's who you want. I'm saying that's not an improvement. And if it is, it's is is but it's bare minimum. It's not an improvement long term. We're saying I think I think what I think is six is six months. But he wants him for next season. Of the he season. wants him. At his club. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that, I think long term, he obviously wouldn't be in it. He wouldn't be. I understand. He was a great manager. Yeah. Uh, you I, get but, Jose but it feels, it feels very. It feels very contradictory because you're saying that he's he's finished. He's a dinosaur, but he's better than the manager that is currently at Chelsea. That because you think manager, Chelsea shouldn't swap for him because the manager you got right now is not doing that great. You're eleventh, so I believe that the next manager you get, i.e., Jose Mourinho, if you get him, he will take you okay, probably to sixth, eighth to sixth. For which is, me, which is a huge improvement. Yeah, but for Chelsea Football Club, Rory, you've but seen we, your team we're not win everything. We're not, we're not, we're not, I mean, six is probably our ceiling with our squad, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, but he's an elite manager com- comparing to what you're saying. He's a great manager, right? So he should be taking you to that next level. No, but the squad isn't capable of competing with the teams that are up there. We haven't got a squad that's good Jurgen enough. Klopp wouldn't take We've, them to first. Jurgen Klopp no, would get this. Yeah. Exactly. But I don't he think would. Jose Mourinho will take them anywhere near to competing, even if but the this, season but, after with But it's not, it's not, it's not, it's Todd Bowley's fault that they're in this mess. They spent a billion quid they've got no one that can bang in goals. They got a forty-year-old centre back. That's that's Todd Bowley's fault. That's not necessarily all Pochettino's fault or no, Graham Potter. They contributed on the pitch. They shouldn't be losing four at home to Wolves. No, would Mourinho not. improve Chelsea's season right now? I think the answer is yes. Long term, would he be a viable solution? Long term, it'll make, so. no. make them no, harder I think, to beat. I don't think so. Make them harder to beat. I think. I think long term. You know, if we, if we, it, when you say long term, with Mourinho, it's it's never that. But at the moment, we can't see beyond the end of our nose anyway. No, so no, it doesn't no, really yeah. matter. It no, doesn't no. really matter about long term. Long term for us is. Get, going into that cup final with a prayer, with a prayer, win it, and with with Jose Mourinho in charge, I think it would, I think it would immediately improve us. If you think about his record, you know when people sort of dismiss it and go, "Oh, he's finished" or whatever. Finished, I just think right. it's so disrespectful. He's finished. He's, no, I'm not he's one of the only. The, the, define he's, finished. He's finished. So he's won. So he's won silver. Retire. He's won silverware pre- more this, recently in this league, than Arteta. In this league, in so this he's won silverware more recently. In the, in the than Italian league, fine. You could do it with Roma. That's great. And I'm not taking anything away from that. In this league. The EPL, the English Premier League, yeah. he's finished. But what is that? Okay, tell me why. He's what, finished. Based on, ta- based on what? Ta- to win the Premier League? He's tactically... He's, all the tactics nowadays for Jose Mourinho, all these four... The four so you think it, that Jose Mourinho, the man who won midfielder. European... Five tra- midfielders, three yeah. at the back, he's finished. I don't think he's he won't win the, you don't think that the Jose, league. You don't think... That, no, of course not. But that's no. not the point. They don't even make no, no, top no, four with Jose point. Mourinho. They don't even make top four. They don't even sniff it. I they don't sniff it. I think it's so funny to say that Jose Mourinho's finished. Like He's a man who is arguably the best manager to have ever lived in his prime. Yeah. Mourinho, 03 to 06, is arguably the best manager. Mm. If you're taking people's peaks, maybe you say Sir Alex Ferguson's peak, what, 08, 07 to 09, maybe the peak of Fergie, maybe maybe 99. You take take Wenger 04, you take Guardiola now. You take Klopp a uh, couple of years back. Since 2019. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. His whole life. <laughs> right? You, you take managers at their peak. Yeah. Jose Mourinho, at his peak, yeah. is arguably the best of the lot. And I do not disagree. And yet, a decade, two decades later, we're saying that he is finished. And then we bring into the fact that he has won silverware more recently than, say, Arteta. Mm-hmm. He came very close to winning more silverware the following year as a penalty Europa kick away. Mm-hmm. In fact... Let me ask In you fact, a hang on. Italian clubs. Italy, great league, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The last Italian team to win European silverware was who? Roma, I think, right? Yeah, that's true. The last... Was it the conference? Who was the last... Who was the, who was the Italian team? Who was the Italian team to... Who was the last Italian team prior to that to win Trivia silverware? Trivia for you, I know oh, the answer. In, in, in what, the, any European competition? Yeah, yeah, any before Roma with Mourinho. The last, no, the last Italian team, not not with Mourinho. Yeah, yeah but just the before last, that. Before just the that. last Italian team to win silverware prior to Roma winning silverware. So the great league, Serie A, Serie A, is sensational league. I could league. tell you this. Like a, you, uh, I'd say it's AC Milan, probably. No, it was Inter Milan, Jose Mourinho. So the last two times, oh, the, that an, yeah. the last two times that an Italian club has won silverware in Europe, mm. you think about the rich tapestry of Italian football. It's the same geezer, and then <laughs> that we was then sit, though. And then we sit. That was then. And then we sit down, right? That's when people like me and you sit then. down, and we're like, "That guy's finished. Yeah, he's finished." 
I, I just don't get it. Right, let me ask you a question. So, what does so fi- finish said, mean? Is he finished at the height? In the premise, the, in, in is the he in his prime level, yes. to, to win a Premier League title against Guardiola? No, no, of course not. You can't can he win a cup with Chelsea? Yeah, I think he you could. can nick a cup. You yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I agree with you then. A FA cup. I agree with okay, you. Cool, yeah. we could do that. But he, but he, he won't win a Champions League. I'm just going off the standard of Chelsea. He won't win a Champions League. Champions League. They won Premier Leagues. They compete. So I'm saying, if Chelsea want to get back to that level, we're not winning the. We're not winning That's not who we are. No, but no, it's not what you think. Hang on a minute. Do you think Pochettino's the man? So okay, you want to. Chelsea to be who we want to be, competing for leagues, winning two Champions League. Pochettino. We've got Pochettino. Yeah, but again, back a man who's a Chelsea serial now. loser. Yeah. And, I was, and he's a man who's a loser, like an actual loser. I don't mean it in the emotional sense of the word loser. Yeah. I don't mean like in the playground you're a loser. I mean, the geezer loses. He loses games. He loses things. He gets to finals, he loses. He gets to semi-finals, he loses. When you're talking about these Chelsea standards, you're saying we can't bring Mourinho in because it's not the Chelsea standard. The geezer we got is a... Loser. Yeah, but you're going off past history. I get it. He's a winner. He's a serial winner. He's been winning his whole career. We get it. But the way how football has evolved now, Jose Mourinho has not evolved. So Jose it. Mourinho hasn't evolved. No. But Mourinho Rory, he he hasn't evolved, evolved, has he? He, he hasn't. Has he he, 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 I love Mourinho more, most, more than most. When you say he hasn't you know, evolved, neutral again, I, just, I just think it's, again, boo, I think you're doing it. I think it's so disrespectful. He hasn't no. evolved. Of course, he, of course, as a man, as as well versed and poetic in football as he is, of course he can reimagine his tactics. Of course he can reimagine. I genuinely himself. haven't. I yeah. genuinely have not seen. You can't seen win him. European silverware without having an understanding of the modern game. And he hasn't won. Okay, he hasn't won the. Okay, we talk about the silverware. He hasn't won the Champions League for a decade. He hasn't won a league title for nearly close. He to won that Manchester as well. United most let's recent. Talk serious, let's talk about the serious trophies. No, here. because we're the not Premier League and the Champions League competition. But it's irrelevant. Even our talking about Mourinho's greatness, which I believe in no, no, firmly. But we're not, a okay, percent. Mourinho from the man that Mourinho was in 06, he isn't today. No, but to suggest that he isn't still totally capable of winning and one of the best cup? managers in the world. Of course. Of course he is. Course, I, you know, I believe that. But like, in terms of that progressive, the, where the future of football's going, and mm-hmm. Jurgen Klopp's still at the precipice, uh, you could say someone like Deserve, he's doing it at a much smaller level. Where football's going, Mourinho absolutely has not adapted in the last 10 years. No, he he has, he's had, had a lot of success. Even getting Man United trophies with the Europa mm. League, it was all a formulation that hasn't really changed league since cup, 2010. They? Yeah, And they won the League Cup. Yeah. I think we're all being really sneery we're to not. silverware. I mean, we, I, we just, are. Okay, okay. Just, just looking at it for what it is right now. If you could take, and, and it's not going to happen. If you could take Alonso right now from what he's doing at Bayer Leverkusen or Jose Mourinho to take you over for the next mm. six months, mm. who would you rather take? And forget the nostalgia. Just no, but pure, pure, relevant. no, no but pure basis relevant. of football. Someone it's who can progress these players. It's completely relevant because Xavi Alonso is Liverpool. Ja- Xavi Alonso. Oh, no, I'm not talking ja- about. Ja- but Xavi Alonso represents Liverpool. He is Liverpool yeah. personified. No, I'm just talking about. It would be like me. It would be like me. The way how he plays football, the way how he's progressing with these young group of players, the way he's. It doesn't have to be no. Alonso is the Liverpool. Let's say Alonso. Okay, Deserby. Deserve the, 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 neutral manager, the, the, young manager, young yeah, manager, any young manager. Yeah, Thomas I mean, Frank, Xavi Alonso couldn't be more like there's a history with Chelsea with the Frank Lampard issue with, the with Chavi. No, the no, just as a manager, you brought up a lot. You, if, if, no, if just, you don't want me to make it relevant to Xavi Alonso, don't bring him up. Let's do Deserve. Okay, let's, let's do Deserve. I'm, I'm just talking about football yeah. style. I'm just saying this is how our dated. I think it's sad that Chelsea in a position where we're even talking about Mourinho. It's a damning indictment on how bad Tobolli is. It should be a, it should be Xavi Alonso. It should be Thomas Frank taking Chelsea for the next five years. See, this is again. I think again, this is bonkers to me you think about Jose Mourinho and who he is and what he's done in the game and then people go you'd be better off with Thomas Frank that idiot what on earth how on earth can anyone think that you're better off with Thomas Frank a geezer who has done all right but don't say long term Morris I'm saying long you know you know my opinion on this right now if I wanted Thomas Frank or Jose Mourinho in the dugout at the league cup final obviously it's Jose Mourinho yeah but Chelsea have got a young side that you spent a billion quid on. You need a fu- you need a futuristic manager that is moving with the times. And going off, going off his history, he doesn't do well with Mourinho on the touchline for he Roma. Buys good players. He's left, he's left the ninth in the league, one of the lowest ever points per game ratios Roma have had in the last twenty years. He's a cup manager. When he's on the touchline, berating the ref, and you know me, I love berating the ref. Mm. That looked old school. That looked like someone from nineteen ninety nine doing that. He looked he looked way out of touch, man. He's out of touch. And he is man. out of touch. He hasn't adapted. And Guardi, I, we'll it's be doing ageism. the club in ten it's years. It's ageism. It's not. I hope, I hope you're proud of yourself. But in ten years' time, hopefully this we're doing is, the club, and I can say Guardiola is trying four three three, and we're, we're, we're playing Thiago Motta's two five three formation. <laughs> yeah. I'm like Guardiola is a cup manager. We'll be saying the same Prejudice. thing. Prejudice. Yeah, it's an you're ageism not, thing. It's ageism. Help the aged man. We want young managers coming for. Jose Mourinho coming back would be an, a, Mate, did, a damn indictment. I think, I think anybody that would say to me, you'd be better off with Thomas Frank long over term, Jose Mourinho. You know, long, long term. term. Yeah, long term. term. Yeah, but mid-season's an issue because you're struggling what, mid-season. What is this thing about like there only being... You know how there's kind of only one way to play football now? You have to play out from the back. Your goalkeeper has to start your attacks. It's very important possession stats. Mm. You don't have to play like that. Like One of the best goals I've ever seen, ever, in my whole life, 
the ball, picks the ball up at France 98, and he pings it. The length of the pitch, which would be called nowadays hoof, in those days it was like a, a wonderful pass. Dennis Burkamp plucks it out of the air, cuts inside, pings it into the top corner mm. against Argentina. That's one, one of the best goals. One style of play. one of the best goals I've ever seen. You got to give me three more styles of play now. No, you can't no, keep no, hoofing no. it. No, no, why not though? What I'm saying is, why, why not? Because someone's going to take why? it out of the air, control it, and then pass out from the back. Now we're starting again. We're not, not if you score from it, they're not. Yeah, but how many times are you going to score from but the back? The, 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 the irony of what Rory's saying is that Guardiola, who kind of brought all this, you know, play, uh, Swansea's of the world are playing that way, and Newport County are playing. And the irony is, we won the treble playing long football. We played mm. physical four centre backs yeah, yeah, and playing yeah. this rugged. Yeah, bullied your way to the final. And, yeah, so yeah, Guardiola, yeah. mid season, went to having John Stones in midfield with a Kanji. He changed mid season. You know, Roma's still playing. You know, Roma, it was 4 2 3 1. But they know how to mix it. This is why they're so good. But the term beautiful football is a fluid term, isn't it? Because I find beauty in a 50 50. The challenge. I find beauty in a long t- in a long ball. I find beauty in a yeah, goal yeah, yeah, scramble. Yeah. yeah, but that rugged old school mentality of Jose Mourinho is not working in EPL well, to this day because he's just you're gonna get pa- you're gonna get passed around. I'd be worried where he, where, he doesn't his play last the job in the Premier what? League. We, where where he left Spurs? I know it's Spurs, but where he left Man United as well. The final season. Wait, where he left so Tottenham? Flat. He left them in a cup final, which for Tottenham is yeah, quite that impressive. was embarrassing. For, for Manchester yeah, United, board, for yeah, Manchester board. United, it massively went wrong. But he's their most successful manager of the past. What? When did Ferguson go? What we got? Over a decade, right? Yeah, he is. Uh, well, there's a super chat from Adam McCullough. Doesn't the, the fact Jose failed at Spurs change things for Rory? Uh, Thank you, Adam. No, what's happening, Ad? Oh, you're well, mate. Yeah. Um, no, I don't, I don't think it does. Because also, failing at Tottenham, Pochettino failed at Tottenham. And we, got, and we got lumbered with him. Conte is one of the best managers I've ever seen. I bet he's finished too, right? He's finishing. Who? Conte? Conte? Oh, See what I mean? <laughs> People believe that. I think Miles's Miles's school of thought here, which you you're more in line with. Do you think? I think Ange- that's more common than me. I think most people would agree with Miles. You know that most people would go, Mourinho's done, Conte's yeah, done. But, yeah, but Miles, like, Miles said finished, and we jumped on it. it. But he's right. He is finished. Mourinho's finished at the highest level, winning. I don't think he'll win a Champions League again. I don't, no, think, I don't he think he'll win a Champions League. Is he finished? To, could he win the FA Cup with Chelsea this no, season? But, but you, I think yeah. I don't know why uh, you're, you're right. About. You're you're right, but I don't know why you're even bringing that up. No, no, Chelsea no. aren't in the that's, Champions that's League. Where you're, that's the debate Chelsea, for the season. Like, is, no, but is that, Chelsea yeah. aren't in the Champions League. Yeah, but no, you're no, going to no, be in exactly, the Champions exactly, League next year. Exactly. So you go, well, Mourinho will never win for, a Champions League For where League they again. are now, he, he'd be a good Chelsea yeah. have as much chance of winning the Champions League as we have of winning La Liga. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't <laughs> matter, does it? If, <laughs> this it, is why it, you won't employ him. This is why you should not employ him. Because he won't, even next year with a, with, a, with a full window with budget, he won't get you into Champions League. Because he's not good enough. You want to try to get back there, don't you? So how do they no, get? No, we, we're, we're not. A t- what? You don't want to we're not. Champions League. It's not about my desire. My desire is irrelevant to the conversation, right? Of course, but looking at it through the lens of reality, Chelsea have never been further, or, or haven't been further for what twenty-five years, thirty years. Yeah, we haven't been. We haven't been further from the Champions League. Than we are now. Yeah, but look at Tottenham though. They have got a brand new manager and they're playing great football. And he's come out of nowhere and he's challenging for that's top true. That's easy. true. Who who would be your Ange Potter yeah, there at Chelsea? Is there an explain, example? Wait, 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 we've got to explain why. Yeah. We've got to explain why. We can't just go like it's all true, but we've got to say why. The reason is because they sign players yeah. for the furtherance of the team. So they so they look at their team and they go, what do we need? We need a creative midfielder, someone that can create because we're losing Kane's vision. We need somebody that can create. Which you okay, have. Okay, who's the best player? In the league mm. for creation that's available, James Madison. Yep. They go and sign him. Mm. Chelsea didn't want James Madison because he didn't fit our model mm. because he's too old. So we're not signing. They needed a centre off. They go out and they buy Van der Ven because they know that he's ready for it. Mm. We didn't do that. Our our motivation from the boardroom down is to sign players for money. So the reason that Postel Coglu is doing so well, and I concede that he's doing so well, is because he's signing players to make Tottenham a better team. Chelsea aren't signing players to make us better. Do you think Todd Bully will change no, next summer? No, because the point isn't to make a good team. So you know when you bring up the Champions League, mm. with all due respect, you might as well you might as well bring up the Ashes. Chelsea can't win the Ashes. <laughs> Chelsea can't win up win the Champions League. Like we're not we're not even in the hunt for it. Yeah, yeah. That's the point crazy. of Chelsea isn't to play at the top. It yeah, isn't the, what we're aiming yeah, to do. It's crazy, man. Painful. Um, we're obviously watching Arsenal versus Liverpool. A couple more sides that are optimistic compared to Chelsea for sure. Um, and uh, obviously, I think Liverpool are favourites in this game. Um, any standouts from the Arsenal lineup? Oh, Kai Havertz is playing up front. Kai Havertz is a false nine. <laughs> oh. That is a big standout. Well, I mean, listen. That's crazy, man. 
No, I'm not even going to say it. The, uh, Liverpool <laughs> got Gravenberch, McAllister and Curtis Jones in midfield. I think this front three is going to be interesting for Liverpool as well because they've got Jota, Diaz and Gakpo. Gakpo. So they've dropped Nunes. Uh, I don't know if that was related to an injury uh, previously in the week, but um, that's interesting. I don't think Gakpo has been getting much of a sniff now, this, in the last few I, weeks. Do you, not think, do, you not think that it's, do you not think that it's just rotation? Yeah, it it's keeping be. everybody fresh, keeping everybody mm. happy, keeping everybody on their toes. And that's a good sub for half time. It gets a great oh, yeah, second half. Yeah, um, Nunes yeah, comes Nunes. on. Oh, I think Gakpo's good at coming short, linking up play as well. I think yeah. he put a lot of pressure on you lot in terms of. I think Liverpool are going to come in and try and silence the crowd, keep yeah, the ball well. Gonna, I can't. I honestly can't wait for this game. It is going to be spectacular. But before we go any further, I have to let you know that this is totally brought to you. This entire video, this entire show is brought to you by the good people of Super 6. They have been kind enough to partner with us for the whole season. So please do support them. It will not cost you a penny and you could win a quarter of a million pounds. All you have to do is get out your smartphone, download the Super 6 app. As I say, it's completely free. You predict six football scores correctly and you will win a quarter of a million pounds. It really is that simple. And if you finish top of our mini league, you join our mini league for free. If you finish top of it, you will be playing for our team. This shirt, you will be wearing this shirt. You will be playing alongside Boovy, Miles and myself at a really good stadium is all I can tell you at the moment. We're going to be playing against pitch side. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think, Boo? <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm all hands on deck for that game, in my opinion, um, <laughs> uh, against pitch side. Uh, it's, uh, it's a huge game. And obviously, uh, yeah, make sure you download Super 6 because it helps us out massively. And uh, join our mini league. It's Club 23 and 100 quid to win it. Classic football shirts. It's a beautiful little Bo gift Bo as well. How do you think this game's going to finish? Scoreline prediction. Let's go. do a scoreline prediction. 2-1 Liverpool. Do you think? Yeah. How tight is that? I don't think it's smash Arsenal. They do. Do you think? Miles? <laughs> <They're> smash. <laughs> What do you reckon? By no. the way, Mars got an Arsenal kit under there. He's full kit keeping today it, with shin pads. It, keeping it hidden. He brought keeping shin pads as well. When we score, he's wearing yeah. Astros under the desk, but we don't have a white enough camera. Shin pads. <laughs> what, um, what do you reckon, Mars? Uh, oh, God, Arsenal Football Club. Um, oh, Liverpool in. Oh, oh just, just by going off that, I think it's going to be I think Arsenal. Do you, do you see Arsenal released a, a cinematic Netflix style trailer for this game? No. Did you see that? Like if, if we win, then I retweet. Yeah. You don't follow me on Twitter, then. I do. Yeah, yeah of course you I see it. Of course I well, Did you check your? Did you check my account this morning before you no, come on? Like, if, about, you, if you check my Twitter, yeah. I retweeted the trailer that Arsenal did. So they, they created a cinematic trailer, like a gladiator's kind of for style game. for this game. Yeah, well, they're trying to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But what does that make you? How does that make you feel? Old because I think if you, I think if, <laughs> I'm just used to I'm just used to you just know what's quite funny, Mo. You know, when, you, the game. I think that is actually the first sign <laughs> of being a bit older. You know, when you see your club do something on social media and you look at it and you go, just just yeah, put the team sheet yeah, out, yeah. just put the team sheet Hit out. The ball that around. is the first sign of like feeling slightly different. I think not that is the first sign of no, no, not in a no, no, not in a traitorous way. You don't. You just think like, do you know when it was for me when I realised, oh god, do you remember when like. It all, all those transfer, not transfer, they were like announcement videos. Do you mm -hmm. remember when, when Alexis Sanchez was playing a piano on Old Trafford? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Stormzy, that was funny though. Stormzy, Stormzy did Pogba. Pogba. Yeah, that's funny. But now everyone does it all the time, don't they? Yeah. Every, even like Swindon Town do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. they announce Charlie Austin or it's, whatever. It's good. I, I, I don't mind all that. If, it, if it's an announcement, I don't mind that. If it's your transfer, you want to try and do something big. I, like I a cool photo that. or something. Yeah, I loved all that. But for the record. But not, not for a game. Arsenal, one. Liverpool, four. Four. Okay. Um, uh, if you're right, Roars, I love it, mate. I love for it. For the record, mate. I'm gonna go. That's a spoiler. It's not even a prediction. I'm gonna go three to Arsenal. To, to Liverpool. To Arsenal. I have to back my team. I don't care if we, I don't care if if I'm playing out there. I can't believe how good Liverpool are. You know, I really can't. You've been it's, superb. The, the the brilliance of Jurgen Klopp. I think you could argue that this is Klopp's biggest achievement this season. If he wins with because this he team. had his entire midfield destroyed yeah. through the summer. Yeah. Captain gone. Um, if he wins the league the, with this, then he's up there with the with the Fergies and the Peps. I'm not, people will say he's up there anyway, but if he wins this in an individual season, yeah, he he's on it's, that it's table. Top five ever I in the league. Top, I think I think Klopp is definitely top. What are you thinking? Top five Premier League manager? Yeah, yeah, top five. Yeah, I, top I five. Agree definitely top five. But, but individual if he wins, Premier League campaigns. This is, this is top five for me. This what? Sorry. In terms of Leicester City, maybe the '99 Man United side, a few other sides. This is one of the best achievements in a single season ever. Because of the amount yeah. of change, the yeah, amount of young I know, players. I know what you mean. Connor Bradley coming in, Quanza. Yeah. Do you see a sad story about Connor Bradley? What happened? Do you see it? Yeah. So sad. It's bad. Yeah. It's just sad that like, his father died. Oh. Like, you know, off the back of seeing his boy, it, you know, when you just well, think life can be so cruel. Yeah. He died recently. Yeah, like yesterday. 
Oh no, is yeah. it? It's so sad, man. Oh, no, that's you know, when you just think like that is that is just biggest so high of your sad. life. But but I suppose like he would have oh, seen his sad, boy man. play and score for Liverpool, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Condolences to his family, man. Yeah, yeah. God, yeah. That's so crazy. sad. I didn't even know that. That's sad. That's yeah, crazy. no, real real heartbreaker. Is he? He's, he's not Fantastic. playing today, then, is he? He's not even travelled, yeah, has he? Involvement. I, I missed the back four for Liverpool, but I I I, I, I doubt he. Nah, he's not. He, he won't be there. I didn't no. look at the bench, but he. I'm sh- no, I'm virtually no, sure he won't be. Impossible. Yeah. Um. Gave him some time off. Definitely. Hundred percent. But um. But yeah. Oh, he's Saka's in. That's a penny. Could they, looks like something. Stop it, man! Here. Please. Yeah, but I got just. I got. You have to. You yeah. Have to I think, say it here. I think. I you're, think you're, you're a million miles away. I think, though, you I've, I've got no issue you. with Miles saying it, but then acknowledging I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Yeah, I know. Because I'm saying I, anything. I, I, maybe I'm the, the same. The weird, I don't know, the weird I? thing is, it looks like something. The weird thing is when you then you say it and then you go, no, look, it is. It looks like something. No foul. It's clearly not. Yeah. Um. You gotta pick everything you can get against these tiny teams, man. This is a big game for Arsenal. If Arsenal lose this, with oh my god, Champions League, it's gonna start getting scary now because Villa's there and Tottenham. They well, drew the Tottenham, man. Yeah, they drew. Yeah, Everton, the other Everton day. did everyone That's a massive so favour. Bad man, they should be winning that game. Oh, I, I don't care. <sighs> did, but in did, terms you, of just, I do you know the what? Game, do you know, know what my favourite my favourite moment of the entire weekend was? Did you see Seamus Coleman's reaction? To the was it an own goal or was it the Branthwaite goal? You know the the, the equal yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see Seamus Coleman's reaction? Didn't see that. Oh my god, it's everything you want from football. It, it just it, it's like a microcosm of everything that you want to see from the game. He's having real afters with Romero. Yeah, you know as the cross is coming in, you know what Romero can be like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really giving it to Romero. The cross is still waiting for the free kick. Him and Romero. Him and Romero. Ultimately. He goes up for the header. The cross comes in. He goes up for the header. Romero gets something huge on it. Yeah. And Branthwaite bundles it in. Unsure whether it's an own goal or, or comes off Branthwaite. All the Evertonians celebrate. They run behind the goal. Cele- Seamus Coleman just stands there with Romero like this. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's class. Literally. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Yeah. Like Keane with Van Nistelrooy and all yeah. that. Good. Yeah. Because you know what? Do you know what I thought was, was really a sad day for football? Just in terms of like... Like, you know, we like the afters or whatever. You know, the equivalent, like the expression, like, let's take this outside. Yeah. You know, that expression, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, like, you get that in football matches. Tony Adams, Tony Adams would go and have a row with whoever it was. Or, I mean, the, the, it happened at Stanford Bridge. You know, John Terry, Michael Ballack. When, when Michael Ballack was playing for Bayern Munich, John Terry and Michael Ballack actually had a fight in the tunnel. Mm. You know, you get those moments. Do you know what the modern day let's take it outside is? It's James Madison, Neil Neil Morpai, and they took it outside, <laughs> and it was to Twitter or social media. On, on it was to Instagram. Yeah. You're like, yeah, you, you. It was like you don't score enough goals. Yeah, yeah. I mean, your rent free brain or whatever it is, yeah, right? Yeah. It's like, that? shut up, man. Surely you can do this. Do it on a yeah, pitch yeah. in right? real life. Yeah, do it on a pitch. They can't anymore. Social media. Surely you phones. can do this in real life. Where? No, but there's a fight. There's a football, there's a football flag up. I just thought it was pathetic. I really would did. film it and put on TikTok. Yeah, mate, you don't, you don't score enough goals. You can't have your own celebration. Yeah, I live rent free in your mind. Both melts. Man, aren't they? Unbelievable. Terrible, man. Man. Although terrible. Neil Morpai might be the most dislikable oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. footballer to have ever walked the Yeah, but he does it. Deli- you know, when players are sanctimonious and they don't, you know, like maybe a Gary Neville a little bit, yeah. like he knows he's a shit house. Yeah, he is. He knows he is. My, do you know what my issue with him is? It's not the behaviour. It's that he's not a good enough player to do it. To do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, if he scored 15 goals. It's fun when he does it against somebody else yeah, and you look yeah, at it. But when he does it to your club, it's not nice. But, but he's he, done it to us. Yeah, he did it to Arsenal, didn't he's he? Done it we should do us. a shit house 11 on do, the club do you podcast. Think, do, you think there's a, um, do, do you think that there's a threshold, a minimum quality? Because did you see the goal that he scored? Good goal. In celebration? Bro. Good goal. What? I was just about to say exactly the opposite. Oh, it's a good goal, man. The, the Mopai goal? Yeah. Well, he curls it in from. No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm talking only... about the one where he did the... Uh, oh, oh, against Spurs. Against Tottenham. Oh, you seen I the goal against Tottenham? I, I wish oh, it was yesterday. How did he score? He, he, score he just bundled it in. He just bundled it in off his uh, off his knee. Yeah, he's, mm. he just bundled the ball in off his knee. It was like a terrible goal, which is why I'm saying, you know if you're going to nick someone's celebration, yeah. does oh. the goal not have to be a certain standard? Nah. Like you can't score. No, because you're winding them up. That's the point. Yeah. Especially, you especially Maybe it has to be below the pressure. It's rubbish. And I'm doing your back garden. Then yeah, it's even worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's even worse. Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking th- of shit houses now. I'm thinking David Nugent when he nicked that goal. Remember, remember yeah, that yeah, for England? Yeah, he stole it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Michael Owen when he when he's shooting past that ginger kid on the video, the little young ginger kid. Remember? Michael, he's like a twelve year old kid in goal, yeah. and he's, he's being by Neville, Neville, Neville Southall, Southall. Isn't he? Yeah, he's burst. And he just smashes it full power. Do you, know, do you know what? Do you know what it is though? It's clear. Do you know what you can kind of glean from Michael Owen in that circumstance? Just a winner. Regardless, yeah, ruthless, just regard ruthless. like regard how old you like, are. Don't matter who. It is. Yeah, I, I, I'm score. gonna win this. Yeah. When you're playing power league and you're near post and your mates in goal, right? You know, yeah, yeah. You don't smash. Do you, it. Do you smash no. it? Do you? 
I did it last week. To who? No, he's, well, someone we know. Tell, can you tell me? No, I can't. Can say, no? No. But was, did he get annoyed? Or? Yeah, he was like, what are you doing? I was like, mate, I'm allowed to shoot. No, but you're not allowed to smash it for three yards. Like <laughs> yeah, that. Not, three yards, right, not, I, I not in a friendly game. Yeah, but you know when you're running after the ball and you can only lace it. I, it's not like you're just clean on. You're clean through. Like I there's probably, a tight angle. Yeah, I, I kind of know. What, yeah. I kind of know. What if, it, you if, it's if it's a league game, if it's you, points, you just got to lace it. Yeah, you smash. You do everything. It's tasty, but not your friends, man. Especially your friends. Half the time they don't even want to be in goal. You know the guys who just let it in. I absolutely. He don't go in goal. He won't even do his. I do my time. I'm the worst goalkeeper. You won't go. You'll literally wait until someone goes, mate, it's your turn. Everyone has been in. He's been in twice. Get in goal. He yeah, won't do it. I don't think you noticed that. No, I know. So everyone notices that. I noticed Yeah, you always notice who doesn't want to go in goal. I notice that you always I'm, swerve your turn in goal, do you? which is a terrible... Is, is it, I reckon that you can... I, do, I wouldn't... You know, no like, one wants I, to go in there. You know, if it's the other way around. Yeah. I wouldn't know. I'm the worst goalkeeper in the world. I'm terrified. Yeah, of course. Do you know the way I goalkeep? I basically... You shoot. I get myself out of the way to make sure that I'm safe. And once I know I'm safe, I then try and like save yeah, it. But by that point, it's probably in there. Get, get safe, get safe, save it. Get safe, save it. You're saving away from the goal. But generally, by the time you're safe, it's in. Oh, yeah, no, Booby. Do you know? I think that you can you can really gain an insight into people's character, the way that they play football. So you see how Booby will swerve his turning goal. <laughs> you can learn yeah. something about the man it's that not he is. There. Yeah, you can learn something. Yeah, I've got a tactic. I just wait until everyone's tired, and then they, they, there's always a guy that wants to go in twice because he's so tired. Mm. Yeah, I do it for fitness. I'm just trying to keep his fits possible. Yeah, but at the same time, he's still How's got that to turn, though. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> That's mad that you notice that, though. Yeah, of course, everyone knows. I'm a bit, everyone knows that. that. I, can't, I don't know. I don't know anything my, about the people. The other thing I notice about you, which I find even more of a wind up when we play football, short sleeves and gloves. <laughs> gloves in like <laughs> April. Like I don't know if it's a statement. Yeah, if, if, I, if I had long sleeves and gloves, you wouldn't work with me. Because that's 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 a league. I don't think gloves can be worn on a there football certain, pitch there in this country. There are certain weird you know characters were, that you should do that. You know, if you that. were playing football, short sleeves and gloves are okay. If you were playing football in Tromso, say for some reason we, oh my God, he's he's in the Martinelli's in. <laughs> Martinelli, <laughs> Martinelli. Ball in. Oh, he's got a score. Oh, oh my God, Bukayo. Oh. Oh. oh my God, he didn't want it enough. He Great pace for Martinelli. He didn't want it enough. Look, he didn't want it enough. He wasn't tall enough. Look at Havertz stinking the gaff up. Look at Havertz. Was that Havertz or Odegaard? That should have been Havertz. I can't believe that Saka didn't get his head on that. Where is Havertz? He's an idiot, man. That was Odegaard uh, losing the ball, by the way. Where mate, where's Havertz? How, how fast, he's tall. How fast yeah, is Martinelli? Yeah, he's a, how fast, have a look. Mate, how fast is Martinelli? Well, David Rea throws the ball. Bruv, Martinelli. Where's ha look at Havertz running so slow. Oh, yeah, Havertz doesn't want it. Havertz doesn't want it enough. So Havertz doesn't want it enough. Mate, I think Saka's got to get he's on actually, it. Oh, come on. Oh, Saka yeah. gets his head on it. He doesn't. He, he gets scared. Your boy's running down the wing. Havertz can't even be he's, bothered. It's pathetic. Bruv, Martinelli. Look at this. He got his head. He headed it. He headed it for a throw in. He got his head on it and didn't header it towards the goal. What on earth is he doing? He got his head on it so and headed it out for a throw in. I so can't poor. I believe he's missed. Didn't that. want it. Didn't want it. Not hungry enough. Do you want it? It's got to be ugly, mate. That. Can't believe he's missed that. Come he's on, he's not ruthless. What does Didier Drogba do in that situation? Yeah, Didier. That's the Didier's point. different. No, you man. can't say that. You can't say Didier. Well, no, okay. Well, the point Let's I'm, say someone no, like no, Damien the, Duff. The point I'm making, of course. But the point I'm making is, you know, <laughs> you know, some footballers they do anything. Neck yeah, on the you line just named to one score of the best. a goal. No, no, okay, Rooney. so you could pick. What I'm saying is, though, you get strikers who will do anything to score. They they get hurt. The defender gets hurt. Yeah. The goalkeeper gets hurt. But the ball ends though. up in the back of the net. Everyone is hurt, but the ball's in the back of the net. Scored. He should have scored. Saka went. No one's going to be hurt, but I'm not going to score. I don't question his desire to score for Arsenal or to put himself on the line. Yeah, but he should have scored. His ability there. He should have scored there, but I don't, I don't question think it's that. Ability. I think it's he's on side. Liverpool. Oh. Liverpool could have made it 1 0 with Gakpo. Gakpo, get out of He's here. With a stupid corner. haircut, man. Go get a trim. Did you ever see um, Ty's mall pie rant? Yeah. Is it good? Yes, it's quality. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a disgrace. Oh, when he stood up yeah, and all yeah, that. Oh, is that, is that, yeah, that's is that yeah, what yeah, that's yeah, from? Yeah. I've seen the whole, it's a disgrace. It's COVID a disgrace. ASTV is never, it's the best media disgrace. product ever. Get relegated. It's a what, disgrace. Ever. What Robbie has built is... Do you remember when they were all sat in a room, right? They were sat in a room during COVID because they, they were allowed all, to mingle. all sat on individual chairs looking and then, forward. And then, and then yeah. Lacazette scored against Spurs, remember on his, yeah. I think it was yeah, right foot volley, smashed it. They all started hugging each other and stuff like that. during COVID? And then Troops goes right up to the camera, he's like that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like sweaty yeah. middle of June really? or whatever. Really? Like, no, do you know? Do you know my favorite? <laughs> my, my favorite. Like he's a lovely. Yeah, he's he like just that. stood there for he's all a, time. He's a lovely fella as well. Do you know my favorite oh, AFTV clip, which I reckon really does. It taps into like the pettiness in football, oh, with which I totally uh, like employ in my own like approach to football. Do you know who Lee is? Yeah, Lee. Yeah, yeah. It, like really good bloke. I think I think they're watching an England game. 
Harry Kane scores a massive goal for England. Like I can't. It might have been against Tunisia. He's in. I saw him. I saw him. You've got to finish that catch. You've got to finish. He's missed. Saka. You know what? You know what? Rory. 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 You know what? No, no. Forget this. One second. Rory. Everything you said about Kai Havertz, I agree. I shake your hand. My bad. Really? He is terrible. Told you. He is terrible. Huge goal. It's one of them. It looks way way better than it. He should be finishing that. Kai Havertz is terrible. Yeah, terrible. He needs to make up for He needs you to score. He's a bit lucky. He's a bit lucky. Is, he's he's lucky. Yeah. This is yeah, a yeah. massive moment in the title. Boovy, you know, as Man City perspective here. Great goal, boys. Who do you want to win this? Arsenal. Okay, so this is good news for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, actually, yeah. I, well, a draw is probably the best thing. But uh, Is it? Yeah. Mate, Miles that, on side. How, Liverpool's great defense pass. are porous. Mate, great pass. It's such a bad finish, isn't it? It's such a bad finish. Oh, please don't be offside. So far, it's not. You know, it's such a bad finish. There's more contact on the keeper. Then it goes to Saka. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. If it's yeah. a good finish and it, it bounces for a corner. Yeah, look, no, look, it's straight, straight into him. the keeper's... It, yeah, oh, straight, my he's, he's God. He's using him as a bounce, yeah. like a bounce Alisson board. Alisson saw it. You, you position... You've oh got to give him the eyes. You've got to go this way. He, he mate, went, bobbled it. If you actually yeah. watch, he bobbles it into the floor. It's terrible, Havertz. Saka does well there. He does. He, he does well he because does he well. could easily have... Got blocked. I mean, he got very lucky in terms of the ricochet. Yes! yes! Guys, Vamos! The melts, man. Mm. They need proper it. melt. They need it. Oh, look. No, now no, the no, kick just, comes out. No, no. Just, I'm, I'm a bit, it's a bit hot in Guys, there, can it? we check out Arsenal Twitter? Have they made a film about this yet? It's on Amazon. <laughs> Amazon Prime. <laughs> yes. 1-0 up against Liverpool 40 minutes in. They're crying at home, Arsenal fans. Make sure you get it. Make sure you get it. AFTV are crying Oh, my God! Oh, my God. He's in! No, oh, he stopped running, Havertz. Havertz yeah, he was offside. Donkey, he was offside. He oh, was, was he? Is that what it was? What, this, what's this German for donkey, uh, uh, Jack, mate? What's Durkin. German for donkey, it's please? It's Einschuligen. Einschuligen? That means excuse me. Is it? That's <laughs> the only word I know in German. Einschuligen. <laughs> 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 it's Tudmeleid. Einschuligen. That means my formal uh, no, condolences. Donkey is... Esselin. 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 Er ist ein Esselin. Et, et. Von Leverkusen, okay? <laughs> er ist ein Esselin von Leverkusen. <laughs> What the hell? Er's Namen ist Kai Havertz. <laughs> oh my God. Right, that's my German accent. He's, the guy's <laughs> a car You're weirdly good at that. Huh? You're weirdly good I at that. I did it at GCSE German. You're weirdly good at yeah, yeah. GCSE German. Yeah. Do you, you know yeah. what? Language, I wish I took it more seriously. I wish I'd, mate. You, but I don't mate, know. I don't. Mate, mate. You that know what? My, my, my one regret from I the wish whole I took of school. That more serious. I wish that when I was in French, I didn't dick about. Yeah. That was a free period. Right it, was a free, it was a free period. I wish. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, it, free... it would have been amazing to be bilingual now. It would have been amazing. What was like your free me, periods yeah. in school, mate? I give you my free periods was um, languages and RE. That was a PHSE free period. for me. PHSE. Did you have that? PHSE? No, what is that? It was like like social studies and oh, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, and you yeah, learn yeah. about you learn, we'll talk about learn real about, stuff. I, would, I wouldn't. I would. I would have taken that. I would not have taken that seriously. I don't even know what it is. But no, social studies. Yeah, yeah. yeah like so. You I, learn how to be social. What, what are you it's studying like, in there? What is a social? Study? It was like a thirty minute class once a week. It was a study about of like society. No, it was study about like how to not drink up too much alcohol and oh, stuff like that oh, and fags and all that. Yeah, yeah. Mum could teach me that. I go home. Can I go home? My dad could not teach me that. Oh god. Yeah, gosh, this yeah. is huge, Mark. One nil. No, but it's still, this is Liverpool. No, but this is huge. It's over, Mark. I think you won the game one nil. No, 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 no. I think it's I think Arsenal. You, I think you. No, I think. <laughs> State of him, Ben White. He looks like he looks like the girl from uh, Benidorm. From Dubai. <laughs> is he gone to Dubai? <laughs> he just went. He just he just came up from Dubai. He's getting more he's orange. Contestant on the only way is Essex. We're living in winter, Mark. Leave my guy, Ben White. Man. <laughs> We're going back down to two degrees Celsius Listen, next this week. This is the Ben White that helped us win the league last season. I've not seen sun in London for about a week now. It's been all grey. So where is the where is the orange from? He was in Dubai. No, no, that mate. Doing that's what? from an electric. That's not from Dubai. From a, t- a bed. That's clearly. That's from the sun. Mate, he's rubbing that into sun. his body. It's not from the sun. That's is it not Miles? from the sun, mate. When was look the last at time? me, mate, look at me. Not... I look like Casper the fucking goose, and I live in London, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, no. It's I'm the German to... blood, though. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> But Ben White, where's he from? He must be from. He must be uh, from Brighton, isn't it? Yeah, Brighton. <laughs> ben White's like, the most like... English name going in it. Ben White. Do you know what I mean? Ben White. Benjamin White. Ben, yeah, he yeah. hates being called Ben, doesn't he? Does he? Yes, he yeah. hates it. If I ever meet him, call him Ben. He said he might not. Okay, ben, why you got such a weird hair? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, ben, why did Gareth Southgate long you off the England squad? I really want to know that. Does anyone know that? Can somebody I help me out? Important. I think he's important. Does anyone know? No, I agree. I don't think he's a bad player. said, you know what? I'm, I'm too good for this level. What <laughs> happened? <laughs> what happened with England? Just for... it's, it's basically, you know those secrets in football that come out? Like most things that... Most things that at least we hear about, we end up finding the answer to. So whatever, you kind of know why Sancho fell out with Ten Hag. You kind of know why, like, various issues. Mm. The Ben White, Southgate thing, maybe people do know, but I never heard. Yeah. I don't think he found it. I think he, yeah, I just probably thought... It's like when Mika Richards like, refused to go to Euro 2012, remember that? 
Yeah, you, what? You do refused. we know what? Yeah, he said, uh, I know it's a different sim uh, situation. H Hodgson said, you're in the squad, but you're the first refusal on the squad. So you're not actually in the squad, but you, you have to if come on the plane. If someone drops out, you're... A bit like Jermaine Defoe in yeah, 2006 yeah, yeah, yeah. with Spen. And what Mick Richards said, Sodder. I'm not doing it at all, yeah, period. Well, I'll I, retire. Yeah. So it might be that. Right. And I fully agree with that. Let me go have a holiday with my family. But the way team. football's going, and if Arsenal win the league this season, which might happen... City won the treble with four centre backs. I think Gareth Southgate could utilise no, no, no centre no, back no, as right back. No, no, no. But you don't think that? N no, like, in I, a no, big game, I, I'm the, saying. The, let's say we have France reason, in the semi finals. Could not you not use I, Ben Wise as right back? No, Tuck him in. The reason why I don't believe in the tactic is because I don't think that Gareth Southgate is a talented oh, no, enough not. manager to employ Of course not. What England need to do with Southgate is do what England have done with Southgate <laughs> for years and hope that it comes good this time. You know, you, you know what you do is you just keep doing the same thing and hope. Is this his last tournament? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's got to be, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's already won over. This is one over. Yeah, 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 yeah. He should have. Yeah, he should have yeah. went after the. Yeah, this the is loss. already one over. His best policy is being defensive and and, and hitting yeah. them and, on, and, on and the And as much as I don't like it, do you know? Do you know what my New Year's resolution was? Football, do you know what my New Year's resolution was? One of my like football New Year's resolutions. I'm not going to talk about Gareth Southgate getting sacked anymore. Nah. Because I feel like it's pointless. I feel like it's pointless, mm -hmm. and I don't think it helps winning the Euros. I'm not suggesting that I have an impact on that. <laughs> but do you know what happened? If you get you... into superstition, man, it can ruin your life. No, I know. Man. It's I like know. I'm praying bit... for an ace of spades in poker. You, no, I do you, that. You just, <laughs> I yeah, do that. Yeah, I do, I do that a lot. It messes <laughs> your mind, man. It messes, it messes your mind. It never, cut, it never comes. You just got to refuse. Yeah. You just got to sit there and let it be, man. You got to let it go. Bro. Oh, look, he's John Lennon. No, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what we're doing? Well, I'm saying this as a fellow England fan with you, mate, and obviously you at no, Mars but as well. I don't, but I don't think. Let it go. I don't think that. It's over. It's over, you, mate. If, Germany's over, Royce. No. I'm, Germany's over. I, refuse, gone already, man. I want to say congratulations to, to Germany for winning the tournament at home. France, no? I don't, I'm a bit bored of France, Deschamps and all that. Oh, my God. Arsenal are in. What are we doing? Kai Havertz, man. Fuck, he's a I won't have it. I won't have it. That was Odegaard. That was Odegaard. Was, 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 was it? Yeah, that was Odegaard. Was Odegaard. But you're not wrong about Havertz. You could just, you just guys weren't car. making it relate to the football. Guys are car. Ooh, good interception because that could have... Arsenal got... playing really well here. Mate, you're really well. Man. Look yeah. at that. I think it's that social man. media trailer you put out on Twitter. Oh, Ben White with the skills. <laughs> yeah, Benjamin. <laughs> Mate, oh. look at this from Arsenal. You're tearing the report apart, man. Oh, oh my God! Pace, whip Slacker. it in. Do you whip want it the in head now. Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want it? No, you don't want it against. Oh mate! Yeah, now you did the right thing. You did uh, right. What hitting against his legs? Winning Listen, you got Saka versus Konate. That's not. There's only one. Saka there. versus Konate last that. time, and he won it. He was goal side. He won it last time. Yeah, but he, he should have had that. He should have scored that header, Mar. He, he, he won was goal it, side. Yeah. He won the header. Yeah, he did, and he oh, missed it. I would have scored that header. Yeah, defo, hundred percent. Would you have got there though? No. What do you mean? Because he ran the whole length of the pitch. Yeah. What me? Booby thinks he'd score nine goals for Man City. Booby actually told me that. Like, you know, like not on camera either. You know, not one of those. You know, on camera you think, oh yeah, we're kind of like talking a bit because you're giving it the big and because there's an audience or whatever. Booby off camera, just me and him talking like fairly normally over a coffee. He actually told me. Came out of nowhere. He oh. actually told me oh, that what? he would score nine. Oh, score like nine. there are Premier League players who don't score nine. No, of course not. Yeah, they're rubbish. The, the right? level, the game will it will pass you. You wouldn't even know what to do. How, how would you know? No, the level is how so. Would you it know? looks slow. The level is fast. How, how would you know? You wouldn't. It, he's so, I know things, man. He's so well, right. You, I, I, you know what? I know if, you know what? Prove me Stick right. Stick to yourself, Miles. Okay, each to their own, man. If you prove me right, yeah, I'll give you. What do you want? What, what do you want? I'll give you anything you want. I want a nine-game contract. Miles has, never, Miles has never been more right in his life because you know what, Booth. Genuinely, if you could score nine goals for Man City. Yeah. Guarantee. You'd be there. Guardiola would have you in the squad. Like yes. nine goals, a lot of goals, you know. You're a unit. Yeah. Nine goals is a lot of goals. Of course. Yeah, it's all about exposure. Imagine, man. imagine Harlan coming off a big no, guy. It's all about exposure. And then Booth he comes on, another big guy. He's gonna yeah. get us nine goals. Arsenal for broken. Nine Arsenal lot. broken. Wow, here we go. Come on, let's boys, see let's some go. from Saka now. Take Come him on, Saka. On, on the bonus. right now. Gotta... He loves cutting in, doesn't he? It's too slow, man. It's too slow, man. Too much. Flicking it around and all that. It's too much. Kayo, man. He ain't that guy. No, I wouldn't say he's not that guy, but I think he's lost a bit of his confidence going on taking on players compared to last season. Why couldn't he take he him on the right? Because Gomez is not naturally a left back. No, do you, do you think that Bukayo Saka is just a tiny bit predictable? Like, do you think occasionally Sometimes, yeah. he should just go on the outside? Yeah. Because we always assume he's going to cut in with the left foot. But I think just that go on the outside and whip it in with your right. But also that comes down to I don't think he trusts his striker. He knows Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah if, 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 for example, if he has someone like an Osimhen who gets on the end yeah. of that, yeah. I know I can just whip it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can just whip it. Yeah, no, because no, Boozy, you're, you're crossing to force hope. They're yeah. on the, they're you're giving on, the ball away. You're, you're, giving the ball away. you're almost giving yeah. the ball away. Yeah. He's very, very one footed. Yeah. But, very, yeah. Look but at Riyad Mahrez. He could tuck it on his right and play it on his right a little bit as well. He scores a few goals with his right as well, though. Well, he, he did against Forrest, didn't he? Yeah. His girlfriend, a wife. Do
uh, him emigrating from this country and her staying here. Who? She's on a TV show. Who? Who? His wife. We, we have Morris. Morris. Oh, Morris. Wow. He, I think so. Or it's a. Or I've been like. So she's not gone to Saudi Arabia. No, she's in Manchester. She's like really missing him. Wow. <laughs> He's really missing him. I, I think he'll be back. <laughs> yeah, 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 a lot, a lot of them will be back. The whole league's rubbish. I'm so glad it, it's falling on itself. should definitely be in the Premier League. 100%. Should be playing for City this year. 100%. You're getting in the City team. That's hard. You'd though, be a better yeah. team with him. Mars will um, get into everyone else's yeah, team bar, cool. bar, bar, um, bar Liverpool. He'd get in their team. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you could do it with a right winger now. 100%. We're okay. We're okay. Do you think that he gets in. He starts for Arsenal. Do you think he gets in the Liverpool team? Not ahead of Salah, obviously. But if, say, in some miraculous uh, situation, he ended up in the Liverpool squad, Klopp finds a way to accommodate him, reimagine him as a different winger, the way that Sadio Mane became a centre yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah. Oh, then, yeah. I don't think that Riyad Mahrez doesn't get in the Liverpool team. I just think I'm that just they... I'm saying on that position. Yeah, he right, could yeah, yeah, agree. He's not better than Salah. Yeah, yeah, but... not, yeah. I think but, yeah, they would work him, yeah. a way of getting yeah. him in the team. Riyad Mahrez, if anybody could get Riyad Mahrez in January right now... He'd start for yeah. Arsenal. 100%. Over, over, uh, Maybe they reimagine him again, though. Saka's like, a false nine. So even if he starts for Arsenal, but Arteta would have to... Uh, no, he, not, he wouldn't start over Saka. I'm just saying Arteta, like he said, he would have to accommodate yeah. to get them. Re- he would, re-imagine if if yeah, Arsenal win the Champions League final, now, Saka or Mahrez? I'll play Mahrez. I'll play Mahrez. You have to play one on the right. Saka, Saka or Mahrez? Uh, uh, Mahrez. Morris. In a Champions League final, Morris. I think anybody who's won a Champions League yeah, kind of gets Morris. in the team, though. Like. He'll be gutted, though. Know, he didn't I, start I don't, that I don't, final. I don't particularly right. rate... I don't know, I'm an Kovacic. Arsenal fan, but I'm not an idiot. I don't particularly rate Kovacic, but if you had access to Kovacic on a Champions League final, most teams would right. play him. Kovacic or Rice, because he hasn't played in a Champions League no, final. Rice is too good. Rice is too good I for this game. He needs a Champions League <laughs> final. For this game, is, Rice is too good. I think Rice is so good, he'll use Arsenal as a stepping stone. No, but not a, And go I, where? Arsenal like can't be a stepping stone. Real Madrid, Man City, and Bayern Munich. Years to come, man. Oh, mate, do you know what you've just said there? People listening to this have just gone mental. Yeah. You've just called Arsenal a stepping, stepping stone, stone for City. It is. It's not. It was for Colo Torre. It was for Adi Bayor. It was for Samir Nasri. It was for Girl Cliche. Mick Hucknall, you've got to do something with this. I love this clip. You've got to make sure that this goes somewhere. Arsenal with a stepping stone. It, but it is. <laughs> well, it is the step. it's Everyone been wants stepping stone. Everyone wants to come to City. No, it's, not, it's not a gas thing to not say. A stepping stone. It's just 15 like the... years ago, we're City a stepping stone for, for any. We, we were a, a stepping stone for Sean Wright Phillips going to Chelsea. Wasn't. We just had a lot of disloyal moments that we're the hot, your club for money. We're the hot, we're the hot ticket in town, mate. No, you're not, mate. <laughs> of course we are. <laughs> Rory, give me a club in the 90s in London <laughs> that you had to go to. Give me, a, give me a club in the 90s. Like Arsenal. In the 90s, club. Arsenal. Right. So Arsenal in the 90s, everyone wanted to go. They go wherever they could. To get maybe like Rio Ferdinand use Leeds, Leeds United as a stepping stone to get to Man United. Yeah, but it's similar to Arsenal's the a big, city. it's a big club, it's a bigger club than Man City. You are. So why would we? Why would they go to you and they could because come to us? It's not about. There's no club in Saudi Arabia that are bigger than Ebb's Fleet Town, but they go in Saudi Arabia because of the money. That's why they went to Man City. That's no, why that's our Arsenal players went to Man City because okay, of the money. That was a bad do example. You, do you know what? When he, when he said it, when he said it, I thought, oh my god, that's wild. And now he's no, Rory, about don't, make, it. Try, don't try and make no, sense. No, no, I know. I could be hanging around with him too much. Yes. He could have like, yes. he could have like infiltrated <laughs> my brain. He it, could Rory. have, he could have like messed with my equilibrium. <laughs> he could have done that. But is he right? No. Is he right? Because because they they went in the nineties. In the nineties, everybody would have broken their neck, and in, uh, for a period of the nineties, everybody would have broken their neck to play for Wenger. Early for 2000s. a period of the early two thousands, yeah, like, yeah, 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 but yeah. for a period of the mid two thousands, mm. everybody would have broken their neck to play for Mourinho. Mm-hmm. At Chelsea. Mm. Is he right about City now? Our City, the club, where, you know, when players go on international duty, are people arriving, are people arriving at international duty? They get to St. George's Park and Saka goes up to Phil Foden and goes, mate, what's it like playing for Guardiola? Yeah, I think it's the manager more than the club. Yeah, but he's manager yeah, of the club. Maybe. It's the manager well, more it's the same than the same club. thing Ferguson at Man United. He, wasn't, he isn't Man United, yeah, but, but he's but manager the manager. there for a long time. Because if Pep Guardiola leaves... Yeah, well, it's if buts and maybe. No, I'm just saying, if yeah, he yeah, leaves, I don't, think to, I don't think players want to rush to go to Man City after Yeah, but that. I made that point. I'm not saying oh, if City were in the British Museum, we'd, be, we'd have maybe a bigger not, ex- exhibition than Arsenal. I'm never saying that in a million years, am I? But as a sporting project, everyone wants to come no, to No, I take that back what I just said there. If, if I think it's Real Madrid... Bayern Munich have a, have a pool in Northern Europe. They have a pool with a German talent and, and around that kind of area, in my opinion. And Real Madrid have got a unique, special pool. Look at the French players they brought in, Camavinga and Chouameni and obviously Bellingham. But everyone else, the Erling Haaland things changed Man City forever, man. It really has. 
That's, uh, a, that's you a, a Glatzko, Glatzko signing. We've never mm. had a Glatzko signing. We made Aguero Glatzko. We made Yaya Torre, yeah, special yeah. David Silva company. We made them. But we've made players as well. That's why a lot of players no, of has come mm. to our team I now think because they're you, going off the back of that history. Henry. If you put Saka yeah, in, in, in an interrogation room where no one could hear, hear in and say, just uh, honestly, just you want to join Man City? You'd say, yeah, I'll do it in a heartbeat. Yeah, because you've got a you're great getting coach. managed by the guy you put out. Okay, do you want to get managed by the guy who's put out the cones or Guardiola? Or the guy who challenged him and it's looking like he could be challenging again. One guy's a genius. It's like, who who laid the the, uh, the paintbrushes out for Leonardo da Vinci? Mm. That's what Arteta is. <laughs> he is. No, he is. He, he, honestly, he gets the paper out and all. Oh, he, he goes wow. to Staples and gets the gets, gets the materials. Do you know what I mean? Man, I don't like Staples. It ruined Dunder Mifflin. Dunder Mifflin? What's that? Someone would have got it. Someone. <laughs> we hate Staples. We are anti-Staples. We're pro Dunder Mifflin. Oh. Do you know what happened to me last night? I went out. I went out for a drink. Right, I was over over the city, Fred Needle Street, round there. Got hungry, and I was like, "I'm gonna go to my favourite Indian restaurant." Right, mm. it's round the back of Green Park Mayfair. It's called Jim Karna. It's like beautiful. I went in there. I was so hungry. Look what I did. Wow! First bite. Beat yourself. I couldn't eat. My mouth was full of blood. Right now, you wouldn't know it, and you're all welcome. <laughs> I am in so much pain here. Is it? Yeah. Is that from hot food or from biting? Nah, I biting... bit my tongue. I yeah. bit in. They put they put down the naan bread. And I bit into the naan bread with such passion that the very tip of my tongue was part of the meal. Ooh. And a whole layer of skin came off. I went like this. Honestly, I was quite drunk as well. I went, I couldn't, <laughs> my eyes were watered. All your was, food, it looked like I was crying. Food, food falls out of your mouth. Mate, I'd ordered, yeah, I'd ordered yeah, so yeah. much stuff, right? I've got a lobster. I've got everything coming. <laughs> the lobster. I've got everything coming, right? I've got the drinks coming. I just sat there in agony. I couldn't eat a thing. Could you get through it? No. No, I couldn't eat a thing. Did you like swallow it around the other side I of your tried, mouth? I tried, I tried, but it was too much. Pain. My mouth was so full of blood that yeah. I couldn't really eat. Tasting the, yeah, the yeah. irony yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, every time I'd smile, someone took a picture, right? It's, I was in so much pain. Ben my mate absolutely... got a nice phone, took the picture, and I was smiling. My teeth were red. Oh, oh was it? the blood. My teeth were red. It's just like, oh my God. I bit like, an entire, I think a bit of tongue, you bite your tongue came off. off. He bit his own tongue off. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of it. And that's yeah. how much pain yeah. I'm in now. Can you bite your whole tongue off? No, Boothie. And don't no, try. I'm asking. I'm asking, Mark. Don't try. No, you I'm can. just throwing questions out there, Mark, right? For the sake of the audience. You can. Can you bite your own tongue off? Oh, you can. No, Say, you but, can't because no, your you, brain. Have you, have you seen a film you called can't. 127 Hours? It's a very good film where. Uh, you know, a rock climbing guy. Where he gets stuck. Yeah. He yeah. And he cuts his own arm off. Real true story. Say you got stuck in the rocks, but it wasn't your arm, it was your tongue. You'd have to cut it off. No. Yeah, yeah. We have but to bite it off you if you didn't have a knife. Tongue. No, you can't bite it. Take you your tongue your own, got yeah. stuck in a rock. <laughs> <laughs> but why do? would it get stuck? Because you were licking a stone. Why would it get stuck? Wait, it's like going, why did the guy's arm get stuck? Yeah, because yeah, he but fell. he was trying to climb. He use fell, his arm. Yeah. Why would you use your tongue in a rock climbing situation? Yeah, yeah. What, what? It's hypothetical. I'm just wondering. I'm just I'm asking your opinion. And there's no rational well, reason you've been to be climbing rocks, is there? Well, do you know what my biggest nightmare is? There's no rational reason being, to climb rocks. Being, yeah, like, why do people do... <laughs> do you know when people go on thrill-seeking holidays? I just don't get it at all. You know, like that kind of holiday? Go along. I don't oh get it. Did no. you ever do that? Do you, do you, would I'd, you get I'd, a buzz I'd, out of bungee I'd, jumping? No, I'd climb Never. a mountain, something like a hiking. No, hiking's I don't mind normal. Yeah, yeah. But, but would you he like... He was hiking. He was hiking through California. I saw it. Do you know what me out? You know on Twitter, they've got a For You page, right? Excellent. <laughs> it's very good. I saw this fellow go under the ice and try and swim along. Yep, sorry. <laughs> come up and he couldn't find a. <laughs> yep. He couldn't. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah. I was just like, this bloke, this is my nightmare. Like, this is my actual nightmare. Like, you've opted into this as well. Like, you know, if I was ever on a plane and it crashed and I ended up like, under the water, I'd be like, okay, this is a bit unlucky, man, but at least I didn't do this to myself. <laughs> yeah. This prick got in. Can you imagine how cold it was underneath there in his house? Why you're panicking? Yeah. And his mate's a... above trying to stand exactly. on the wall. It's crazy. And his mate's like, go back, go back, go <laughs> yeah, back, yeah. go back. Oh my um, God. When yeah. I see things like that, Not I just think what if you, you play doing? silly games, you win yeah, silly prizes. Mate, for real. And that's mate, it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Look yeah. at these dickheads with the pack, man. The There's VAR no... guys. Idiots, man. It's no. like, I've seen it multiple times in, in City games this season. What's on the pack? It's the battery pack. They always run out of They don't charge their batteries before they go in. These robo refs, these idiots. Yeah, they're idiots, man. Robot They're all idiots. Did you see the Jack Harrison disallow goal for Vicario yesterday? Yeah. Uh, oh, there was a couple cool. other games I thought, wow, these guys are morons, man. Boys, let me ask you a quick question. Do you think, I don't just want to go down to the bottom of the table. I'm not talking about Rory, I'm just a bit lower. <laughs> Uh, do you think Luton's got a chance of staying up? Because they're, they're fighting yeah. for their lives, man. Definitely. Yeah. And every, I think most of us had us, had them tip down like to go straight back down. I never. You didn't? No, no, no. Uh, you know what? Do you know one thing I would say? And I said it on my show, Filthy. I said, 
I said, we said it to Henry Lansbury because he played for Liverpool. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he came... Uh, when he came on our show, we said, yeah. Uh, and T as well, Tico, he said that Luton is a tough ground to go to. And I mm. said, nah, when we go to Luton, we're in a title challenge. We're going to destroy them. I don't care about Luton. I'm not showing them no respect. We go there, we get three points, we leave. Obviously, mm. you know how we, we, we won that game. Last minute. One. Last minute with Declan Rice. Yeah. Luton is a tough ground to it's go hard. to. They know they beat City. Really tough. I think that might get them through. Like the fact that they're, they're, they're scalping big teams. The, the impressive thing from last uh, last night is the away performance against, you know, their Luton. away form mm. is, is just, just picked about up a picking bit. up. Yeah. And they could have beaten them. I think we're all, obviously all tweeting, hope, maybe hoping that Newcastle would lose and it would kind of uh, generate some news around Eddie Howe. Um, but Adebayo has been on absolutely yeah, since fire, the... And, and the big one for me is Ross Barkley. We're talking about yeah. England midfielders that are, uh, you know, creative and can do things. He was pulling strings like no one. Here's a one. Here's one then. Speaking of Ross Barkley, do you think he's got a shout for the Euros if he carries yeah. on with this with this form? I, I don't think he does. No, he but do. I think he should. But do you know? Do you know why we know what's going to happen in the Euros? Did you see when you think about the games yesterday? Right. So mm. Everton, Tottenham, 11, 12 English players on the pitch. Mm -hmm. Various big games. Lots of English players on the pitch yesterday. Do you know where Gareth Southgate was? <laughs> oh no! I'm, I'm waiting for you to tell me. I don't Munich. know. Not Munich. Real Madrid. Not Madrid. Oh, where was he then? Where could was he, he watching a football game? He was watching a football. Yeah, I'm not just. No, but I'm just. I don't know if he was, he was on holiday or something. I, I know he was so, probably. Was he at Brighton versus Palace? He wasn't. He was possibly he should have been. Championship game. He wasn't. It's worse than this. What? Where was Gareth? That's what I was asking. Was Nando's. he on holiday or something? It, no, no, it's football. Was he in Nando's? Where man? was Where was Gareth Southgate yesterday? Bearing in mind the amount of English players on display at various stadiums yesterday, where was Gareth? Southgate? played yesterday. You, you, you were kind of on the right lines when you started suggesting Munich and Real Madrid. Where was Gareth Southgate? Come on, you. By Leverkusen game. Nope. Was Bristol he in Dortmund? France? He wasn't in France. I'm not going to tell you now. You can get. Was this. it AC Milan? He wasn't at AC Milan. Oh my god. He was in. He was in the Premier League. He wasn't in the Premier League. He's in the Bundesliga. He no. wasn't in the Bundesliga. He wasn't in Spain. He, he was watching Spain. Jude. He was in, oh my God, he was in Saudi Arabia. He wasn't in Saudi oh, Arabia. MLS. He wasn't in MLS. Where is this guy? God, he's like Harry Houdini. Nobody can Don't find say, this guy. If he's in Scotland, I'm never watching the Euros he's again. He's not in Scotland. You can watch the Euros still. So where would he be? Running then? out of country. I don't know any other... Oh, my, if he's where I think he is, I'm never. I'm, I'm off the club. I'm not watching I'm not watching Euros on the club. Where was he been? If he's in Amsterdam, I'm out. He was in the Amsterdam. The guy's a dickhead, man. Why? Why watching them? Jordan Henderson. Oh. Jordan Henderson. Guy's a dickhead, Which is man. why Ross Barkley has no chance. He went to go watch Hendo. You could catch him on the highlights. <laughs> and probably who not. Did, sorry, <laughs> Jack. They're cut properly. Who did Ajax not. play? Who, who, who did Ajax play? Jordan Henderson. No, they played PSV. He's got Google. Played, I bet you can't tell me. It was a big game. They played PSV, I think. Oh. I think they is did. It PS... Oh, great. Yeah. What, for what? Mm. For what? But do you see why it's irrelevant to discuss Ross Barkley? Did Henderson get an assist? Or? The Euros is um, over, lads. He played quite well. Apparently, he's very popular. Though. Do you want to pick a second side, lads? Uh, yeah, all right. Can't, can we, are well, Ireland going? No. no, I don't think they are. Well, for the World uh, Cup, I don't know about Northern Ireland. For the Republic, World Cup, definitely aren't. Uh, who else? Is this World Cup? Yeah. Uh, no, Euros. Maybe I'll be oh. Dutch. Could I be Dutch? I think it's just about okay because they're they're fashionable. They have got the culture. I like Ruud Hullet. They're close enough. It's not a rivalry. I love England. Ruud Hullet. I love Arjen Robben. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will, like love Dennis Burkamp weirdly. Gus Hiddink. Gus Hiddink. Yeah. I'm going Mario Scotland. Melshot. Scotland make it. <laughs> <laughs> don't say Scotland. Did man. they make it? They, I think they're going to go through top, aren't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah I'm we, going we, we can't be mates. Well, I'm Scotland. Scotland. I'm one eighth Scottish. I told you already. You've seen me on they this stream wear a Scottish top. You've Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? I'm one, I'm one um, Scottish. Oh, fair enough. But they, they still <laughs> stink the gaff. But basically, the prediction that I think a lot of people came up with, and I certainly thought, the reason and the motivation for Jordan Henderson getting out of Saudi Arabia in order to come and play in the in the European League, mm. I think came off the back of. Gareth Southgate so phoning him up. Gareth Southgate phoned him up. And yeah, went, Look, I, I mate, can't make a case. I love, yeah. I love you, Jordan. I want you to come to the Euros, but I literally can't pick you if you're in Saudi. Saudi. Facts. So he's just gone, right, get me to a European league. Obviously, Ajax are huge. Facts. You'll start a game, you know that. You'll start first game. When you the think way about, it's going. When you think about that midfield, the two obvious players plus one. Yeah. So it, go, it obviously goes Bellingham, no. Rice, plus one. Madison. Uh, it's hard in, in a big game it, it can't be three like that. In a big game. Why not? Could, in the first game, okay, I'm going to say players and you say... I'll tell you, I'm gonna you either dis, you dismiss them or you put them on the table and then we discuss them. Fine, yeah, yeah. So firstly, I'm gonna have to put Jordan Henderson on the table because we know he's on the table. So Henderson's Fine, on Henderson is Henderson's on, the on this table. Good save, keeper. Henderson's on this table. This is starting okay. that midfield, yeah. This is or yeah, potentially but, but, you, but we discussed. So you, you can yeah. put more than one in. Yeah. So Henderson's on this table. 
Conor Gallagher. Discuss. Discuss. Calvin Phillips. He's staying home. Discuss. Calvin Discuss. Phillips. He's staying home. I'm not trying to... Oh. Are we talking about ours? We're we're putting on the table. In a minute, minute we can put it. Are we going for what Gareth would think, or are we going off what we would think? No, Gareth. Yeah, exactly. Discuss. It has to be discussed. Kobe Mayno. Discuss. Please discuss. Curtis Jones. Stays at home. Yeah, not enough. Really? I I, I think he has done something to to have a shout, but I don't think Gareth would look at him. If Conor Gallagher's on the table, I think we have to put Curtis Jones. There's so many. And if Bellingham and Rice start every game, we can't have a fifth choice CM. But Curtis Jones is probably ahead of Conor Gallagher. Yes. Not based on experience at England level. It, a, a large part of this debate is one. about how much how much okay. time have they spent in the camp. Curtis Jones hasn't spent any time in the camp, has he? Uh, I, I love Curtis Jones. He's under 21s though. Okay, I'm going to have to put... I'm going to overrule you if you don't mind. I'm going to put... If you can dis, We can take it later. I think Curtis Jones just has to be discussed. Yeah, 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 if yeah, Conor yeah, Gallagher's yeah. being discussed. 100%. So Curtis Jones. He's had a good uh, time. I'm thinking of other players here. That, James Madison in this position? Yeah, James Madison. Yeah, no, Eberiche Eze more, in this position? Oh, Eze goes. He's been in the camp. Eze's been. Ward Prowse. Discuss. James Ward Prowse. I don't think he goes. If if they wasn't going to use Ward Prowse Eze. four years he ago, he goes more than Eze. Ago. Unfortunately, I no. prefer Eze. Eze's prefer been in the Eze. camp. But Eze's good. Eze's in a relegation Eze's cool battle. Boss. Yeah, but he's a good player. You can right, see the I reckon that the names that we've said so far, we have said the name of the player that will be the third choice. So Declan Rice is in. Jude Bellingham is in. One at a time, and let's you can have a minute to discuss each. Is it James Madison? In a knockout game. Against France. That's where it's decided. It's not against yeah. group stage opposition. Is it James Madison? No. Should it be James Madison? No, we need more cover in midfield with a back four with Harry Maguire potentially in it. We need we need two yeah. DMs, Rice and a DM with Bellingham playing free with Kane. That's how I think it works. Is it Kobe Mayno? Right now it is. That's my answer. Right now it has right to now, be. No. No. What you think it should be or what you think right Southgate now, will do? Uh, I don't... Uh, Southgate, will, Southgate, Southgate, does, will, Southgate does not. I'll, 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 I'll give you the answer. Southgate will Should play Calvin enough. Phillips with Declan Rice at the base of midfield I'll against you, France. I'll give you the answer and you're wrong. The England midfield, whether we're playing first game of the group or the semi final against France, England's midfield will be Declan Rice, Jude Bellingham, Jordan Henderson. Oh, that I will be. I don't it. think you can justify starting I, him. I think that there's been an agreement. Behind the scenes, I that's think so why well. he's back in Europe. I said that. Yeah, I said he didn't that. start the World oh, yeah, Cup. Yeah. Did he? I, I said he, there's been an agreement. He pushed for this move for the Euros. He did. He pushed for this move. There's no getting way. Getting a squad, though, Royce. Yeah, not getting to a squad. Star. Yeah, not to. He start. didn't start in the World Cup, did he? Not, yeah, not to start. He became undroppable in the World Cup. Oh, do you know? Who we you know, I don't think it's a bad thing taking record, him. Though. By the way, is it Mason Mount? The experience. No, no. So I think it might be over for in terms of getting on the plane. If Mason Mount could still go there, he's not getting any traction. In he has to start playing football. I don't disagree. But you look at Calvin Phillips. It's like he's playing. He's like, mate, it's bad. You know, so it can't be Calvin Phillips, can it? No, it, like, but over Mason Mount. It can. Mate, did you Football see Calvin? Did quick. you see the goal that Solanke scored against West Ham? Did you see it? Yeah. Who, it was a good who's game. blame? Do you think that was? Like, do you do you blame Zuma or do you blame Phillips? Phillips. Who do you blame? Phillips. Do you blame Zuma? Do you blame Zuma ten percent? Do you blame Zuma twenty percent? Do you blame Zuma? Phillips is, uh, is majority and he's seventy yeah, yeah. percent, eighty percent. He has to be. And, and he like, was against Man United. I thought Zuma was looking at the whole pitch, whereas Phillips wasn't. <laughs> Like Phil- Zuma had a better view of it. I don't know what's happened to Phillips, man. And he made a mistake against United. Did you Twice. see that? Twice. Yeah, done it again to this today. Yeah. So it, it's football's a weird. I think sport, his confidence man. has been knocked. Good man. feet. Cool. Really that's, good. That's a good tackle as well. That's a good isn't it? tackle. Jump. Oh, Saka yeah. is right in front of you, boy. Well done. Who's that? Good Jorginho's feet. good in this six for us, man. He's good, man. Jorginho. Yeah, he's good. He's very. He's, that that that's that guy Zinchenko who does that all the time. <laughs> he's lost the ball. Just, uh, just across. What are you doing? You can't pass that across goal. But you're managing the game well. They've not had any. They've I, not think had a I think Arsenal have been brilliant here. You've yeah, but sniff. Zinchenko will do something like that and then they'll nick it. He's not popular, Zinchenko, is he? No, Arsenal? no, I don't mind him. He's a good player, but use your brain. You're He's a midfielder. I feel like I feel like Arsenal fans. No, don't, I don't get onto don't Zinchenko. Like Zinchenko. No, nah, I don't get onto. I don't get no, onto. Not you personally. He's not a left but, back. But generally. You, get, you, you pers- not you personally. Nah, I'm I don't not. get onto him because he's he's being asked to do a job that he clearly can't do to a certain high standard. He can't, and that's not his fault. But mm. the bare, some of the things he does, I, I question like as a footballer, like, that is just the bare. He's trying basis. too much. He's yeah, trying, he's a luxury player. Mm. He makes a great city side five percent better, and Arsenal signed him thinking he'd make them fifty percent better. Yeah. He he make you five percent better when he's playing with a world class eleven. I think if we get a great left back, Zinchenko comes in as a squad later. player. Like, he would be on the bench. Yeah, and that's the irony of the yeah. transfer. Same with Jesus. Which, the irony of the transfers is, the once ir- Arsenal he, get good, he won't start. The irony of the transfer <laughs> as well is, if you're going to sit on a bench, 
You want to sit on cities? You sit on cities. If you're, gonna, if, you're gonna, if you're not going to start, yeah, sit on cities bench, right? Yeah, but yes, because you're more than likely to win trophies. Yeah, but, but I'm glad and he left because yeah. he would have ruined. He, he, we wouldn't have won the treble with Zinchenko. Oh come on, side. he wouldn't have played. He would have played. Do you, no, he he played. Played. Yeah, do you not think? Played. Do you not think that Nathan Ake became, became undroppable? Yeah. Yeah, but there are so many games at points in the season. Don't forget, Nathan Ake was, was very lucky with injury. He got he got just about fit in time for the Champions League final against Inter Milan. So let's say it was Zinchenko back up. It, it would have been Zinchenko again. He cost us against you lot. Yeah. I'll never forget it. I'm well, glad he was out. What, get get his loser Zinchenko... energy out and get, give him to Arsenal. Do you think he's oh, he's, he's that? He's not your not he's your soft. He's soft as. Yeah. No, don't say it. But you know, he's soft, isn't he? He's he's so soft. We're playing so well. But... He's a luxury player. Who's and we Zinchenko, talk about yeah. we talk, we talk about luxury players as, as strikers or creative players. Or James Madison's a luxury player. Sometimes you can have luxury defenders. He's a luxury defender. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Because I don't think his his essence is a defender. Like he doesn't want to be a defender. He doesn't want to be a defender. You know but he's some, not good enough on the ball. You know some players they they buzz off defending. You know. Somebody like Canate, I feel like he cherishes yeah. the, the, he cherishes a 50-50. Yeah. I feel like Zinchenko hates a 50-50. <laughs> no, but I, but then he's not good. Enough. I don't think he starts for a top 10 but side he in midfield. Have, he doesn't have the... It doesn't, it doesn't matter because what no. he sees himself as. You know, if you ask him to self-identify, he would be a... Uh, midfielder. Midfielder. That's playing left back. He That's is. what he'd say. That's what he is. He's, though, no, he's but he's, he's not a good enough midfielder. Well, I think he is. I think I'm George Clooney. But, though. Depending who, on the though? game, though. But who could he I be? I think he could play for one of the big teams. If it's a big, like, if you want to try, give me a big, down... give me a big in midfield. Give me. <sighs> um, I don't even think he gets in Chelsea's midfield. He doesn't start for Newcastle midfield. I don't think he starts. They're for ninth, Chelsea aren't they? Or eighth? Seven. Yeah. They've also got a very like they've, got, they've got a very okay, Chelsea. They've got a kid. They've got a kid starting midfield. Chelsea should be eleventh. Fine. Let's say they. Let's no, say he should be seventh or eighth. He doesn't get on midfield. Doesn't start for Chelsea. No. 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 Yeah, Enzo's yeah. better than him. He's not better than Carney Chuck Wamaker. He's, he's, he's not a better midfielder than Carney no, Chuck Wamaker. No, he's not. He is. No, he's not. Technically better. No, he's not. He's a technically better. No, Chuck Wamaker is way, Chuck, way Chuck, better. Chuck, Chuck Wamaker is a better central midfielder than yeah, Zinchenko. Yeah, that may be so, but he's a better. Zinchenko's a technically better. He wouldn't start. Yeah, but you're for moving the metrics, aren't it? He wouldn't start for Wolves. <laughs> <You're> moving... <laughs> he wouldn't start for Wolves. No. And Wolves tried to well sign him. The season before, yeah, this is the funny thing. People forget they only signed him a year before. Before you signed. We no, we we got him from. A youth academy team in uh, Ukraine, but they <laughs> tried to sign him a year before right. uh, he bottled the Champions League final uh, for twelve million to Wolves. So that was the yeah, kind of pedigree. Level, yeah, and he got he got what's the thing? Risen with the tide. Yeah, rise with the tide. R risen, risen, but past tense. He got rose with oh, the tide. Oh, what a play! He rose with the tide. Come on, someone's hit. You got hit. Oh, that's oh, great that's pass. A fantastic the pass. My God, great touch from the Martinelli. Pass that yeah, that's a beautiful pass. He's been good today. I don't like the man, but a brilliant pass. Oh, come on. That really was fantastic. Here we go. Oh, Liverpool can go now. Oh, so bad from shame. Is that Gravenberg? Man, then, it's not often I thought I'd say this. Do you think it's weird that Darwin Nunes played well against Chelsea and has been not dropped, but rested here? Do you think they bring Darwin Nunes? Yeah, they bring him in the second half. And they'll bring him on against Ben White. He'll be on the left wing. He'll be on the left wing. Left they'll take wing. off Diaz. Oh, no, who's, no, no, no. You'll no, take no, off no, Gapo. Gapo. Sorry. Yeah, put Diaz but, right. No, but I think you'll put Nunes on the left wing. Nunes no? Oh, maybe everywhere. Jota, no. Jota's got to play Could middle. Be, yeah, Jota in the middle, yeah. But they can all play everywhere. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great fluid front three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with Nunes there, they're a bit more fluid. Because Nunes, they interchange better. Oh, you. no, his touch has let him down, what's Jones. What, what's Bad touch. Oh, he's one, done well, actually. Yeah, he's done well. Yeah. Well that? done, Bakayo. Gosh. You've been all over them. You have been all over them. Fair play you, to Arsenal. Yeah, we did, this, we did this against them. Fair play to Arsenal. You we, have absolutely battered them. We did this against them in the FA Cup, and they still came with something. So I just wanted, I, I need another goal. I can't, but Arsenal have blown yeah. me away. Yeah, but Rory, you know we play good football, though. No, but... Arsenal's did, always played yeah, good football. Yeah, but if... Even if when I, we had bad results, the, the worst no, result we had... not true. You weren't good against West Ham. We there were a couple no, of we games was, you We was good against West Ham. We couldn't, they had a low block and we couldn't break them down. They also had a counter. Mm. Against Fulham, we was terrible. Fulham, we was bad. But we haven't been playing bad football, Arsenal. It hasn't mm. been bad performances. We just I, I didn't, I didn't I think that you would dominate Liverpool the way you have. I really didn't. You match them physically, which I don't think you were capable of. You match them on every level. But yeah, mm. technically as well. Match of them on every but, level. But physically, where you've gone into challenges, mm. heavy first. I'm gonna time. have a look in the comments. Shall I see what people are saying. It's yeah, hundred uh, percent. If, you, if you're new to the channel, by the way, subscribe if you haven't already. It'd really uh, help us out. Shall we're I trying to get 200k you, by the end you, of the season. Shall I tell you if your if if your plea has worked? Yeah. So we have Diaz. 178. Diaz, can you get it to 179? Go <laughs> <laughs> Diaz bundles it through, very similar to maybe Jota against Chelsea a little Calam bit. He bundles Calam it past Inchenko, Calam I think it is. Calamity. What's the keeper? It's Gabriel. Calam oh, 
Dreams <laughs> can come true. <laughs> Take a step closer. Can you I? know that I want you. I can tell by your eyes <laughs> that you want half me time. to. Where's that happened from, man? Calamity. Just before half that's time. Poor, man. That's, that's so soft, terrible. isn't it? And you were saying you have an amazing performances when you lost to West Ham and all that. Yeah, but we haven't done that, though. Yeah, but let's have a look, look at this. Ball comes into that. Liverpool. He wins it against Saliba, which is soft. Very soft. Diaz over, uh, gets it over the top. Saliba... What's he doing? Saliba gets manhandled. Ah. Saliba gets manhandled by Diaz, who's half his height. That's not Saliba, though, is it? That's Saliba. Saliba yeah. yeah. Look, Saliba gets manhandled. They just got around him. Yeah, but he got Diaz ma- he got really manhandled. well there. Diaz fought for that. He yeah. didn't give up on Hustled, it. Didn't he? Diaz, look at the fight. Okay. Fight, 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 yeah. fight, fight. Look, does breaks his neck uh, to get there. Oh, should should Rhea be coming out quicker? Yeah, of course. Should we be coming yeah, out getting so. that? Because ultimately, Diaz, <laughs> Diaz shouldn't have the opportunity to get around <laughs> every... That oh, is true though. It's a calam. Make a make a documentary, bro. <laughs> Look at that. Thumbs up. The thumbs up for Grady. Come on. What did I say? I one said, or at home. I this said, ain't a good result now. I said three one. That was a calam. Three one who Liverpool. Huh? Who did you say three one Liverpool? Three. That's a three two Arsenal. Three two. Well, you just said three one. Three two. So it's three two to Arsenal now. You win this. Three, I, don't, I don't care what the score is. Doesn't we try to win the game? Try. <laughs> okay, if I'm right or wrong. That was that was a sick. That was so bad. That was yeah. That's 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 mad. Gabriel. We should have gone into. Why can't gone... Saliba smash that clear? I just don't get yeah, it. Because should've... I think he's waiting for the keeper. I think he wants yeah, he to is, retain is, possession. Yeah, the, do, do you know the? <laughs> this is kind of what we're chatting about before. There's nothing wrong with just hoofing it into Rosette. Yeah, no, no. There's nothing no, wrong no, with it no. on any level of football. Just look after the bleed, especially at that point in the game. <laughs> you're 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 a risen paper away from going in at half time one nil up. Everything changes now. It reminds me of England a little bit. Southgate. It's very Southgate esque kind of. That was so dumb. even worse than Southgate. Soft, that kind of moment. Do you know what that kind of moment is synonymous with for me? Hodgson era. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hodgson era England. Just yeah. nothing. Just like, yeah, Iceland. head in your hands. What yeah. are you doing? What? Yeah. Do you know Do you know what? There was a moment, actually, where I always think of with Roy Hodgson. We came, we played it, you know, one of those, like, dry, flat home friendlies, uh, home games under Hodgson. And I remember, like, getting a tube back from Wembley Park, right? I only got to go one stop. And I'm listening to him talk after the game. And it was either we didn't have a shot on target all game or we didn't have a shot on target in the second half. And it was put to him. It was put to Hodgson. You didn't have any shots on target in the second yeah. half. And he went, what are you talking about? And like, we didn't have any shots. And he went, we hit the post twice. And the, the commentator went, yeah, that's not the target. And then the interview became shots the, on debate, target. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it a shot on target? Like, it's not a point here. Like, there was a flattish performance and yeah. idiotic decisions made. Yeah, just terrible. like we've seen. From Gabriel. Yeah, it was, a, it was a calam between both of them. Like I believe what what Boovie said, man. You should just clear that, man. If you don't, if the keeper's not close enough, if you've done this and you can't, you just for like for for a split second and he's not there, let's get rid, get of, rid of it. Of Even it. the ball that comes into Diaz, there's no pressure from the Arsenal midfield to stop that ball the to other, block that ball coming in. Mate, the other thing, Boovie, right? There's absolutely nothing wrong with. It's not the ideal situation. But you know when Diaz is all over you like that? Just put it out for a corner. Yeah. Because you're facing that way, like you can do it. You know, trying to shepherd it to your goalie is difficult. Trying to retain possession, very difficult. Trying to hit it upfield, almost impossible. Trying to put it out for a throw in, it feels safer, but there's more jeopardy. Just put it out for a corner. Corner, and everyone, and then go, right, switch on, lads, because this lead is so precious. Classic Arsenal, you can't manage a game. No, we can manage a game. That was you, just that you was won a the lap at home. You, they, had, they didn't have a sniff and they no, we bundled can manage game, their way yeah. over. Liverpool nah. fans won't believe how lucky they are. Yeah, that's, lucky, like, that's lucky. You've given them belief. Yeah, you've given, given a team full of belief. That's a belief. That's a season defining moment. I'm not even gassing it. It's yeah, a it could be. It, it, it definitely moment. could be. It definitely if you could just be. say you keep it boring, you knock the ball around, you clear it, your lines, you win the game 1 0. Do you know Do you know who would have done exactly that? Jose Mourinho. Jose yeah. Jose Mourinho he would have done exactly that yeah, nothing yeah. would happen between now and the end of the game do you think Just... Ramsdale comes out and clears that quick I think Ramsdale's a better keeper uh, I don't yeah, think that's anything I don't think that's anything to do with the keeper really he could have been swifter off his line but it, it, wait but it's, 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 just it's the, the whole the centre back because at the same time clear it then no nah, but Miles it's the whole issue yeah. it's the whole it's issue the not, the but it's the whole issue not the centre halves waiting for the keeper to come pick the ball up is yeah. that not what the whole issue yeah but if you're waiting for me at the same time you can still clear it or you should be. He wasn't, he wasn't dominant enough. Hey, well, yeah. Schmeichel Cause, comes out. Because for me, the keep. Because for me, the, for me, Gabriel has three options. Oh, no, Saliba has three Saliba, options. Yeah. Saliba has three options. Like you said, pass it back to the keeper, mm. put it out for a corner, or clear it. The keeper yeah. only has one. He yeah. can only try come and collect the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have three options. Yeah. And you've gone for the worst one. Yeah, for real. Jack, yeah. any way you could do a poll in terms of trying to apportion the blame for that goal? Because <laughs> because I I think that I think that the 
was... that the keeper is actually part of the issue. I don't but I feel like Miles and I disagree on that, and Booth sits somewhere in between. No, Booth agrees with me. Booth, would you, you don't think it's the keeper's fault? Uh, it, no, Saliba first, the keeper second. Saliba's at fault. Mar Marcus has back. just told me Saliba's at fault. Yeah. So I feel like the keeper should have been faster yeah, off his line, but I'm happy to be wrong. I'm just happy to ball it. He could have put it out for a corner, could have passed it back to the keeper. He could have smashed it to Rose Ed. Uh, he went for the poorest choice, was waiting for the keeper. He was to blame for Liverpool's goal. Oh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to affect my own thing. I'm going to... I voted Raya. Oh, 16% Raya. You voted 17. for yourself. Yeah, I voted, yeah. It's called yeah. democracy. Yeah, and I, and I, I think it's precious and something that should be preserved and protected at all costs. Yeah. If you want to sneer at democracy, fine. We should do an election uh, club night. Should we do that? For the for what, impending... general election or the American the, well, yeah, election? Yeah, both. Presidential. Maybe it happened on the same night. Who knows? Should we do that? Yeah. Start talking about the Electoral College. Would of... anyone watch that? Let us know. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the politics club. <laughs> Who do we get? Nick Clegg on? Yeah, count me out. <laughs> yeah, I'm not... I oh, come really... on, Miles, man. Have a Ma laugh, man. Miles, come on, what man. What do you mean, It'd be count fun. you out? Maybe we'll get a bottle of whiskey in. It'd be good. It's brought to you by... I've uh, already been to 10 no, Down the street. Guardian. I've already... <laughs> well, wait, I've already been to 10 Down the Street. Have you? Yeah. Been in there already, so I don't need to... What was it like in there? It's like an old Victorian house, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. What was it like? What, what were you there There's loads of old, uh, like, sorry, there's old... Why were you there? There's old loads, loads, that's why my mum was working for the British Red Cross. Okay. Yeah, so we got in there. Nice. I got some know. pictures, I got a picture with uh, Tony Blair as well. Tony Blair? Mm. Ooh. Yeah, like but of all of them in the last twenty years, I'd probably just I, that that would be the one I'd get. No, because you with. love you love. I don't love Tony you love Blair. no you love Alistair Campbell. But I, no, I don't love like Alistair Campbell. No, you've you, told me in the past you, you love. I Alistair saw Campbell. I saw a weird tweet. Yeah, he was the media PR head of the uh, the Lions in two thousand five when he left politics when New Labour lost. Worked for the Lions. He went. He worked for the Lions. What, like he, the he, rugby he, Lions. Yeah, rugby. and he was giving the Lions a PR spin lesson really? mid game. He was like, "Oh, you're losing South Africa, or whatever it is," and then everyone hated him. Right. Yeah, yeah, really weird. I'll never forget where we were when we heard the news, Boovy. Thanks for such <laughs> insight. Wow. I mean, if we haven't lost viewers now, I don't know what. <laughs> um, no, no, talk about football. Look at this. We're yeah. talking about football now. Sorry, lads. Um, yeah. What? Where do Arsenal go in the second half, then, Miles? They've got to regroup oh. here, man. Now we could. Now you know what? If Arsenal play the same game they played the first half, I think we'd be all right. Liverpool didn't do anything. But the only thing is... Do you think you've inspired them now, though? Now are they going to come out... Darwin totally... Nunes to come on now. And are they going to be invigorated? Oh, because Liverpool, Liverpool will know that they were woeful for that first half. Yeah. And somehow... They don't deserve to win. Somehow, yeah. I mean, they could have gone behind earlier in the game, couldn't they? The, the chance at Saka, oh. when he got his head to it and didn't get it I look at your on. bench. I think who can come on and, and make a, uh, a change in the game. Emma Smith-Rowe started against Forest, which I, I kind of I like that I do like it Emil Smith Eddie mm. Nketiah Trossard Nelson yeah Trossard could do something in this game limited I think the first team I think we could still come out and get something that... yeah, I don't think Arsenal need to even think about changes I think yeah, they, they not, played not really well yeah. it's, a, it's, it's simply a, an error that led to see look that clip through to Diaz Diaz first touch you shouldn't win that <laughs> no it's Saliba. Saliba's goal side it's Saliba yeah. Yeah, Saliba. Saliba just needs to put it out for a, for a corner for a but corner. look at the press where's, where's Rice yeah not, not tight enough Rice no, Rice wasn't tight enough to stop him the ball. He had all the time in the world to clip the ball over as oh, well. That's an issue. Mm. Mm. There is a super chat in the chat. And Boovy, when there's a super chat, what happens? We have to read it out, mate. Yeah, we have to read it out. Let's have a look. Uh, rank these players in order. Palmer, Dooku, Doku, Saka. Count Dooku. Uh, yeah, what are we saying then, lads? What a Sith Lord. Uh, rank them in order. So Sa this is like a start bench cell thing, right? Start bench cell. Doku, Palmer and Saka. Uh, this season? Are we doing it on form? You have to take take him for Rory Jennings FC right now. Take him for Rory Jennings FC yeah, right now. X, I think Cole Palmer starts. Yeah, Cole Bukayo Palmer starts. Saka. Sell. No, no. Saka is better, whatever the second thing was. Saka is better than Doku this season. But you sell Saka for the money. No, mate, money. mate. Don't England, try and get England clever tax. with it. Don't try and get clever with no? it. No? No. That's not what we're... That's not the game. Okay. The game is rate the three players. The I'm game trying was, to make money, man. The game is rate the three players. I'm just trying to make money out of it. This mate, is not even the game we're doing. The game... <laughs> That's not even the game what we're doing now, though. What do you mean? Start bench, start bench sell. Start bench sell. sell. I just put him in order. That's all he wants. He said, okay. the best. I don't do Col no selling, so is it, and no benching. He's the best Cole Palmer. <laughs> One, two, three. Who put him? Go and start it. Okay, Palmer, Saka, Doku. Fair enough. You? Saka, Palmer, Doku. You? Palmer, Do uh, Saka, Doku. Yes, correct. I want to mm. say Doku, but no. Mm. No, he, he can't at the moment. I think Doku's got a higher ceiling than Saka. Yeah. Yeah, I think... Um, I think he's uh, just a. He's just a. He's, a, you know, he's, you know, he's another. Cole, Cole Palmer has been an absolute revelation for us. I can't. I can't believe no, how good he is. It's not hard though. No, I think it's really hard. I think it's really hard to land at Chelsea and be a good player. 
when you think of the culture of the club, it feels like totally disunited. It's quality player, disharmony though. throughout. Unbelievable. Idiotic management. Quality player. Brainless in the boardroom, and yet somehow we have a jewel in the crown on the pitch. Did he mm. play against Wolves? Is he? Is he... Um, I've not seen like a highlight for a few weeks now. I don't know if that's down to is he. Uh, how, many pen- how many how many penalties is he banged this season? Like five or something. Yeah, do yeah that's do underrated. You know Miles, I, I I'm not. I'm not no, even, no, that's yeah, good temper. Yeah. No, no, do you know what, Miles? I'm not even making this about a. I'm not even making this about a Palmer thing. You know when people sort of sneer at penalties. I don't do that at all. Like you know when people talk about maybe centre forwards that score goals. Harry mm. Kane has scored X, but penalties. I don't really take penalties away. I don't. I think scoring them yeah, is, is an impressive. Yeah, yeah. Good temperament yeah. shows you got. Your, your, do you know who the best ever Premier League goal scoring penalty taker is? I, I could tell you that. Gone ever Pe- Premier League. Who is the best? Who is? Ooh. it's not Matt Latissi. He missed one it at is. the end. It is. But he missed one at the end. Yeah, but it's forty-nine out of fifty. Right. Nobody's done. I think there's a higher ratio. Yaya Toy's got a better ratio. Just played less. No, games. no. I mean, look, maybe, maybe the stat story is wrong. Him. But forty-nine out of fifty. Yeah. yeah. Frank Lampard was very good at pens. Excellent. Yeah, Lampard's very good. good yeah. I can't think of any mi- he missed. Balotelli never missed. But he only had 13 or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But f- to get to 50 and not to get miss, to 50 and miss one. But he missed his last one, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, 40, yeah, yeah, yeah. He scored yeah. 49 Frank out of 49. Frank. Yeah. Um, if I had to put my life on it, I think I put Frank on there. What, your life? You needed somebody to score. Do you know who else, I think? Harry Kane as well. Oh, no, then again, Can- he bottled Cantona. it. You killed my life. Cantona. What, your life or a penalty? Who would you, if, if somebody had it to score, if somebody had to score a penalty to save your life, who are you going to get to take the penalty? Is this in the history of football ever? Yeah. Okay, this is a great game. If I was Scouse, it'd be Steven Gerrard. If you knew he was saving my life and I was Liverpoolian, I think it'd be Steven Gerrard. All, all the boys He'd on the overlap way. said that Van Nistelrooy is the answer to this. But then it's the most famous he one against it. Arsenal yeah, he, he missed. It. He missed one, yeah. The I, most famous and one. And your life is more important than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the answer has to be Matt Letizia. Alan Shearer? Uh, Matt Letizia, it can't be Matt Letizia because it wasn't the highest, highest level. It wasn't, it wasn't what, Champions League It wasn't final. pressure... Like FA Cup finals, was it? I mean, I, you know. So is he answer Cantona? Not Cantona, for me. Cantona, FA Cup finals, two in the same game. Uh, his first game back off the back of Kung Fu kicking a fella is against Liverpool. Kung Fu kicking. It's against yeah, Liverpool. A pen. Scores a penalty. Jumps up into the stand with his broken arm. Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Nah. Mm. Nah. Maradona. Mar- Ronaldo, Mar- Ronaldo missed one. Ronaldo, it's not Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Ronaldo missed one. I was there in Moscow. Champions League final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. see? Pressure pens. Um, I think the answer is Eric Cantona. Who's got the best celebration in football ever? Like, I was thinking about this, you know, earlier when we were talking about the dart, and I find that such a like useless celebration. Yeah, rubbish, yeah. You know, the James Madison, Bukayo Saka, yeah. and obviously Neil Morpai nicked it, and then they went outside and took it to Instagram rather than <laughs> to the streets, which I found very depressing as well. Let's take it to the streets! Who is, <laughs> Who has the best celebration in football ever? Ever. Ever. Oh, ever. Ever. The best. Iconic. Oh, the I was best. talking about... Yeah. Um, it's like, what celebration is is the celebration? It's not the best, but was, what came to mind the other day, I was talking about with my boy, was Gomis. Remember the, um, the Black Panther? Yeah, when he used oh, yeah, to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, that was, was a bit... That was closer to... Who did wacky, one? Was it, it? Luca Tony used to do one, didn't he? Luca, Luca Tony, Tony was did that. one. It was a bit Emil Heskey. Yeah, Emil Heskey did? Was, did that. Yeah, yeah but Luca Tony was just that. I thought it was DJing. No, Luca Tony was just that. Yeah, but does it mean DJing? I don't know. I don't know. But Beto. Roberto with a baby. Yeah. Dwight York had that as well. Dwight York, Andy Cole. The Jordan. With Jordan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Robbie Fowler. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Do you know? Do you know? I, my, do you know my, <laughs> good celebration though. I could tell you my my favourite. The message wasn't good. My favourite three two one right. My favourite third is it's only special to Chelsea fans. But Roberto Di Matteo scored a great goal against Middlesbrough. His first goal of Chelsea and like five players, five iconic players: Jody Morris, Dan Petrescu, Dennis Wise, Erling Johnson. Lie down and do that. It's like a Stanford Bridge one. Then there's a geezer called Marco Tardelli, which is like my go-to celebration. Scores for Italy in 82. And he just, like, the passion. You know when he, like, runs off celebrating? Mm, I think I've seen Google that. this celebration. Marco Tardelli celebration. Brilliant player. Won the one Serie A. Scores for Italy. The passion is unlike anything I've ever seen. But I reckon the best celebration in football ever, Eric Cantona. Collar up, chips the keeper, just stands Oh, there. gives me shivers. Just stands there. Imagine standing at Old Trafford. Yeah. And you chip the keeper against what? Sunderland? Chip the keeper and you just got like that. The game I'm the man. That was sc- who yeah. who linked the play up? Who was the one two? The one two. Was it Skulls? I didn't know the answer. I was, was it? Oh, I right. don't know if you knew the answer. I think it's Skulls, maybe. Oh. For anyone watching at home, there was a FIFA 07 trailer with that goal in it. If you can remember the trailer, it was in FIFA 07. Oh. What about Kevin Nolan's celebration? What, the duck? 
Mm. Chicken or whatever. Yeah, chicken. That was. There needs, be, one, there needs to be like a, a weight to it, you know. I'm, I'm trying to think of a Maradona celebration or I, uh, Maradona. Maradona did one at uh, USA '94. Do you remember when he's screaming into the camera? Yeah, and then when he, he was him. clearly. Yeah, they tested clearly him shit after that. Sober. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sober. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Is there any? Is there a, a more iconic celebration than Eric Cantona in the Premier League era? In the Premier Basically, League era. the dart is useless. Oh, it's rubbish. You need something better than a dart. Henri's but one was good. But, but was, you, I can't, Luke Littler. you can't just stand there pretending to be Luke Littler, can you? Come on. Yeah, what's Thierry Henry one are you talking about? The, it's a scream. I had a slide. Oh, the knee slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, got, we've got a statue of him outside our ground for that. Because it was against Tottenham as well. Is that... That's true, yeah. Is that his... Cele- that, that, that's his iconic I could be one. wrong here. That is but is, that, is that the only day that he did that? Or did he do this? Yeah, that was the one. That was the I day. he did more than one. No, no, no. Because that was... do that. Do What's that? Do you remember? Do you remember when yeah, people so, yeah, started? Yeah, you you might have something. been too young, but there was a time when everybody answered their <laughs> phone and they off the back of the advert. What's yeah. up? Thierry Everyone Henry in that. the comments are saying Ronaldo. What are we talking? about? Oh, he goes oh, like Sue. this. He goes woo. Sue. Oh, Sue, Sue, so you Sue, guys Sue. like that? Mm. You're on the wrong channel. It's not woo. Uh, well, stay. But um, Sue. if you think Sue is the greatest celebration oh, ever, terrible. it's disgusting. Sue. Terrible. It's great. It can't be better than Cantona. It can't be. It's not. It's not top hundred ever. That's mad. Messi doesn't really have a celebration. Yeah, he Messi does. Just so when he takes his top off and holds it up. That was good. That was a one-off. At Real Madrid. That was a that one-off. That is an iconic celebration. It's iconic, but he doesn't have he one. Smash Real Madrid, I love that. I think he, icon- does, he does. It, he probably does. I don't know. He runs off like, I don't know. Suarez's one was good. I used to, I used to do that. That was good. What about Harry Kane? Oh, no. There's something weird about him doing that. So he wins a league title. I don't want to see him celebrate. Oh, do you know whose celebration I love? Lewandowski when he does that, mm. that. yeah what about, I love, I do you remember that, that one remember when a lot of people like I think it transcends sport Marcus Rashford what is this it means switch on switch on <laughs> <laughs> come on Arsenal switch on so, yes yeah, come on, on lads oh god but Cantona easy Cantona easy oh, what, what finish Petrov? was it Petrov Dilian Petrov he's like, face first what did he do the only one who's just, is it Petrov the one not Petrov Dilian Petrov for no, Villa and Celtic Martin Petrov N- he used to play for Blackburn, not Petrov. Oh, Pedersen. Pedersen. Morton. Oh, no, Morton. No, 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 Morton Gamps Pedersen. No, he used to run and like he used to go head first and just right into the into the ground. Slide. No, he's to, Klinsman. Two guy. Two guy. You were thinking of Tug guy when you said. No, one second. Blackburn's. <laughs> Everyone's got to say, he goes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one second. I've got from Martin it, Petrov to Tug guy. They pour in. <laughs> oh, that is. I hope they scored then. Yeah. When he's looking for Tug guy, he started off with Martin Petrov. <laughs> <laughs> different positions, different continents. No, the the, the dive was Jurgen Klinsmann for Tottenham at Hillsborough. Yeah, someone else done it as well. Oh, oh my god! Oh! Good hit. McAllister's Alexis got McAllister. it in him. Come on, Liverpool. Oh, actually, I'm not saying that. Come on, uh, Arsenal. I forgot who done it. Look at that for a hit. It's so wide. No, it looked, it's like it looked Mario better on right. camera, didn't it? This is just dive and shoulder first and into the ground. Who? Who are you talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wasn't it Stoke? In the comments, let us know who, who's Mars Fulmer. He's a Blackburn player. We started with Martin Petrov. Now we're at Tug Guy. You guys from Turkey. <laughs> Who knows? He was an underrated midfielder, wasn't he? Tug Guy. Good player. Yeah, good skillful. Player, really man. skillful. Yeah. Really oh, skillful. they got Thiago on the bench as well. Yeah, you guys are screwed, man. You're getting Reese Nelson on for a cameo appearance. <laughs> a a five quid cameo appearance. <laughs> Reese Nelson would do the job. You're coming on screen. Bro, would you get on cameo? Pardon? Would you get on cameo? I'd go anywhere. No, cameo is a website where people can pay for a, a personalized message from you. Oh, is it? Yeah, have you never heard of Cameo? No. Like all these celebrities are on it. You can go, you can go uh, get the Sopranos cast, like, you know, Tony's sister, for $25. What, Janice? Yeah, you can say, oh, I think oh, it's probably $100. You give it to Cameo. They get her to send a message, whatever you've typed in the little message box. The actual... Act- Hi, Rory. Act- happy act- birthday, mate, or whatever it is. No way. You've never heard of Cameo? No. no. Mate, you can get only some crazy celebrities the on there. It's the singer. Yeah. yeah. Just like yeah. Kanye. Yeah. I feel it when I'm talk. That's the, that's the most Even famous Kanye dance walk, to that. It yeah, takes over me. Uh, what's going on? We went from... Liverpool in. Yeah. Liverpool. Oh. What's going uh. on? Yeah, I did that at my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cameo yeah, 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 you have yeah. to do cameos at did weddings. You, did Christmas. you rehearse that? I mean, I know it but from... Yeah, I'm not trying to be like... I'm not trying to be dry or anything, but where, where would no. you pick I up the rehearse. skills to know the dance? I like went to well. theatre school. <laughs> It's easy. to know the moves. No, but I, mean. I went to theatre school. So you did that in theatre school. It's more of a cultural it's thing like, because it's something that I've grown up. It's also yeah, very, yeah, yeah. it's very obvious. But I was like, it's like two it's steps left, forward, one step back, back, and then spin, do exactly the same, the same right, thing. Right, yeah. right. It's left. So I see, I see people do it. I'm like, where, right, where did right, you learn that? Right, forward. Back, you see GC San Andreas, right, yeah. and then switch. Mm, That's it. Yeah. It's easy. It's left, left, right, right, back, mm. forward, back. I'm gonna do it next time. City score goal. I did do. Do you know at my wedding? I did do like a proper rehearsal dance with my wife though. It's Casey and Jojo. Baby, 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 baby. You both knew what you were doing before the wedding. Like yeah, the dance move. Yeah, it's called yeah, choreography. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> yeah. I just do it instinctive. 
What, you're just like a natural yeah. rhythm? I'm a natural. I, I just go with the flow, lad. It's going to be, 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 everything that we said about Arsenal first half has been applicable to Liverpool second half. This is what we do, boys. No, no, you are getting, this is what we do, yeah. Yeah, lose. Nobody do it, nobody do it. Here we go. Oh, you should be 2-1 now. Yeah, had it covered. We had it covered. Not sure, mate. Just mess around, piss around for a bit. And then, yeah, we just score a goal. Boys, you switch on. Um, this is what we've done. We've just given them a bit of lease of life. They know if they nick the next goal. It's over for you. You're, you're one goal away from the season being over. And so is Liverpool. One goal away. No, but they can still win the league. Points. They've got a points advantage. Yeah. They've got the points advantage. Um, how, do you see, how do you see this going, though? I, I, I think they'll be more and more in control of the game. They've got substitutes to make a difference, don't they? I mean, Darwin Nunes can come on. That's the issue for Arteta. How does your squad look so thin when you need to change the game against Liverpool? How does it look yeah, that thin? And we've spent money. I don't understand. Trossard, okay, Trossard's a good player. I, I'm not saying he's a bad yeah. player. But then you look after that, you think, Kiri ought to come on and change the game. Do you know what I mean? Like, Cedric Suarez is still there. Yeah. He, needs, he, needs, he needs a lot to build on, man. And, and, and listen, he's the only one to blame. Like, you've got to be stronger than that. That's a foul. That's a foul. Yeah, he's grabbing his shirt and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, well done, mate. Man. I don't know. I'm not sure what's happening here. Uh, you, you're all over the place. Huh? Arsenal are all over the place here. You need to control the game, slow it down, and get the Arsenal fans back on side because we know that half of them probably left already. I think that will come. I think we're going to get a bit of 10 minutes or 15 minutes of chaos from both teams because I think both of them want to try. <laughs> oh my, my God. God. Saka's trying to Saka. link up play. Link, uh, he smashes it over. Arteta's livid. It was a beautiful opportunity for Arsenal to make some progress against Liverpool and he, and he, he kicks out of play. Frustrating. Maybe I'm just thinking Arteta, I, I think he's a good coach. I think he's the one. Not the one probably to try to take us to to the promised land. You don't think? Not right now. Yeah. I think because I still think he's got a lot more building to do. Yeah. But I think he's the, the right coach to take us to that level. Just to compete. Maybe he might be the, the guy before who does it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, might, yeah, we might, might need be. somebody else to take us to that level. It might be, yeah. But... I don't know, man, because the kind of football he plays, like, it's good football, man. It's just these guys need to switch on. Like he can't, he could, people will get onto Arteta if he loses today, yeah. That's not his fault, no, that Gabriel no. and thing stuff. You can't, you can't coach it's, stuff it, out it's of poor. Like that. It's poor, it's yeah. poor, man. yeah, yeah. But it, but it's interesting because Jurgen Klopp leaving. Whatever we say about the game right now, in the long term, if Arteta stays at Arsenal for three more years, you'll get a few more shots than you did. If if you yeah, if yeah, Jurgen Klopp yeah. signed a contract extension, Arsenal are in. Havertz gets bullied by Kanate, man. <laughs> It's got to be stronger. Canate just bullied him, shoulder barged him off the ball, and Havertz is so limp, isn't he? Yeah, we need a striker. I'd man. get him. I'd get him off. No, nah, I'd get him on because he's he's, he's the Who? focal point. Havertz. Yeah, I'll keep him on for he a man. No oh, it's only first. You can't have a focal point if there's no, if he doesn't if he's so porous. It, yeah, but he's he's, he's not he's not he's made of solid matter. He's, he's a bit flimsy. More, he's a bit more of a presence. He's half like liquid, half though. gas, isn't he? Kai Havertz. He's rubbish. He is, but Enketia don't. He's not. Enketia, I, I love Eddie Man. No, nah, I wouldn't even get him on. I'd get Smith Smith Rowe false nine. Just try it, see what happens. Nah, yeah, I, yeah. Smith Rowe was good against Forest. I thought. But. Nah, he was. Yeah, I, I love Smith Rowe. I think yeah. he's one of the players that should be getting more minutes, especially with Kai Havertz who's been in the eight and not done anything. Yeah, Smith should be. Oh, what a pass! Come well, on, boys. Arsenal's Arsenal Arsenal yeah. in here. Odegaard. Oh, the ball's oh, behind on, him boys. from Odegaard. What are you doing, man? I'm so sad. clumsy, man. And, and Saka was offside. I've seen, I've seen it, Boovy. You know, it's I've seen this movie. I've, I've seen it a million times. Yeah. We outplayed. Like I said to you, Miles, you should be happy. Yeah. Seen it, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's the, what's the issue then? Why? I don't know. It's just the, the thing is that we, we are all more under pressure than Liverpool right now because we have to win. Ooh. <laughs> Whereas Liverpool could just sit back and soak pressure. Yeah, they're away and, from home. And nick a counter. Yeah. That's and then point. after that, they will sit back and and see the game out. Million percent, man. Arsenal need. If Arsenal want any joy. We need to score now. You've got to be more direct, I think. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of sideways passing around the box. Put it this way. Put, I put it this way. If Arsenal score now, Liverpool could still come back and score two goals and beat us. If Liverpool yeah, score, yeah. I don't see us scoring two goals and winning. And that's, damning, that's a damning indictment. That's but you are in. Kai Havertz gives the ball to Odegaard. Away from Odegaard. It. Oh! Wow. Why couldn't I have gone in? Uh, did he pick the wrong side of the net? Did he? Did Kai Havertz bottle it? Look, you're in. You're in. Yeah, yeah but you, mm, you're tight no. angle. Yeah, tight angle. Very tight. Yeah, very tight angle there. Very, very it's better from Arsenal. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, it's much better from Arsenal. Um, you got to cut to miles though when Roy's trying to come into the table. Yeah, use your loaf of bread. For God's sake, man. Yeah. What are you there on Twitter? Use your loaf of bread. <laughs> yeah, you know, you see Roy <laughs> climbing behind. Be, it's a professional outfit. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> cut to Miles' reaction of my intelligent chat. <laughs> oh. Declan Rice has been taking a lot of corners lately. I don't understand. He's a six. He should be on the edge of the box. Mm. He's also he's also 
like decent, a decent presence in the box. Like you kind of want him in the box. Yeah, don't he's you? six foot. Yeah, six foot one. Sorry. Uh, go against Luton was similar, wasn't it? Was, mm. that, was that a corner? Oh, okay. No, he see, this is the thing with Klopp. He switches it quick. Yeah, oh, yeah but yeah. He, he really does make use of his squad clock. But you've got to admire. Look, three players are coming on. Jake Roberts. Yeah, you're, do, you're screwed. Do, do you know what you've got to admire about Klopp you're as right. well? You know when we first started talking about Liverpool at the beginning of the season, I don't think that we thought that they had the opportunity to to maybe rotate. We probably didn't think that they actually had a squad at one point. Mm. Whereas I think due to Klopp's brilliance, mm. they've managed to like improve their squad. So say for example, Trent Alexander Arnold. He is now, because of the emergence of Connor Bradley, mm. he's now available in terms of squad depth as a central midfielder and as a right, right back. back. Yeah, so yeah. they've immediately got more depth. Yeah, they filled the two positions mm. with one player coming in. And yeah. it's an academy player, they didn't even buy it. I know, I know, it's very impressive. Yeah. What what Klopp's listen, Klopp's legacy for what he's done for Liverpool, not even just at the club. Oh god, that's a good cross. Yeah, he's he's so good. Not even just for the club, <coughs> just for the city itself. I think he's given them a bit more belief, a bit more. Yeah. Well, also the way you know the way that he enjoyment. speaks, the way that he speaks about Liverpool, it's so impressive, isn't it? It's exactly what you want a manager mm. to say. You know how he said, "No English club, not ever, it will never happen." Yeah, yeah. you're like, that's what you want from a manager. Yeah. You know that level of loyalty, that yeah, of level course. of it's it's truly brilliant from Klopp, and, like, and you can like, only admire him. Yeah, I feel like this is, is this is Klopp's Liverpool. He's not yeah. just the manager; it's mm. him. Like this is. His era of Liverpool. Yeah. Even when you dislike, even if you dislike Liverpool, even if you dislike Klopp, you can only respect that level of integrity. 100%. P- pound for pound, Rory, I think he's the best in the world. I th- for what he's done with like, the budgets and how he... Uh, I'm inclined to agree with you. Yeah, pound for pound. I'm inclined to agree with you. The only, the only thing that I think is difficult for Klopp is I don't necessarily think that the history books are going to be particularly kind to him. Oh, he's given a foul there. Oh, and a booking. Kai, yeah, Havertz, yeah, yeah. Kai Havertz did well, I think, because at one point it looked like uh, Canate was favourite. Yeah. But, but yeah, oh look, Canate thought he was fouled first. I think that's the issue. Canate thought he was fouled, didn't get the decision, and then just launches nah, Havertz. I think, to the floor. I think, I think the referee bought one there. Kai Havertz played for that. Yeah, I think Kai Havertz did well actually yeah. to to win the free kick in that circumstance. So when you're one on one against Canate, it's not easy. Definitely not. A little debate between Canate and Saliba right now. You know what it is with Canate and Saliba. I think they're very both similar level, great players. I just don't like the way how Konate looks. It looks a bit too whereas Saliba's a bit more controlled. Yeah, 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 yeah. Although, but they're still there's both yeah. quality. Do you understand what I'm I, saying? I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Saliba looks more manicured and Konate looks more clunky. Yeah. But I don't I know how it looks, but I don't agree. I don't agree that it is that. I th- I think that you you don't necessarily need to look that polished on the ball when you're a center half. Mm. You know, you can be a clunky center half. You don't need to have the you don't need, in my opinion, to have the the panache on the ball of David Luiz to play centre half. Mm. What you need to be able to do is to defend like Gary Cahill. Yeah, you know, put your yeah, neck on the yeah, line, yeah, and I yeah. think Canate is mm. is an excellent defender. Always oh, won it. Yeah, yeah. Lucky for France, they got both of them. Aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I mean, French, the French, the French depth at centre half. We were talking about this on the last show. The centre half depth for France, it, it's it actually knows no limit. Yeah, it's, it, you think it's actually crazy. It, like Varane's still about. Then it's Canate, then it's um, Saliba, Upa Makano. Upa Makano, Saliba. Uh, they've got Fofana when he gets back. Fofana when, when he fit. comes back. Fit. Is, what's mm. Badia Shile? Is he French? He is French, yeah. yeah. He won't be getting in their team, but he is French. Yeah. But I'm just saying the crop of. Yeah, no, the, cr- the centre halves yeah. at yeah. their disposal yeah. is it's crazy. Yeah, it's sensational. Yeah, they've got a good batch of players coming. It really is. I think it's over for Arsenal. Do you take a draw now? No. No. What do you mean? I think, I think no. you should. You take a draw when you're losing and you could try and nick a win. No, I suppose at home you have to go. Yeah, I've got to try. Listen, I've. There's a long way to go, though. There's a thing. How many games? This, this is game 22 for us. 23. I mean, I, I, that, but I, I, by that logic, you can go, what? There's only, what, 16 left? Yeah, there's still a lot of football to play. Yeah, there's a lot of football to play. There's a lot of points to be won. Yeah. There's only but, six years left of the decade. I mean, it's, it's all relevant. It's all relative, <laughs> isn't it? Jesus. You've got to win. You got to start winning games at some point. Arsenal's been winning games, though, bro. Uh, we'll do it one, one, one season. Darwin Nunes' kit. There's no leg on display. Yeah, that's an issue sock, for me. Sock all the way up. They're knickerbockers. Is he long sleeve? No. Look at Darwin Nunes. Look, if he's long sleeve, I'm not watching. Literally, okay. I don't see anyone in long sleeve anymore. <laughs> it's, it's cold. It's boiling, isn't it? I put my warm coat on today. I was hot. It's, it's cold out there. Let's no, go back to minus two, Marsh. We Is it good? Quite, yeah. I think this guy's going to cause chaos. Right I mean, now. that's the that's the word people <laughs> say with regard to Nunes. When whether that's a good it's thing or a bad thing. Chaos. When, when football, the football intelli- intelligence. Well, it used stuff. to be a bad. It used to be a bad thing. Chaos. Being a chaotic footballer was a bad thing. Being Vinny Christian Jones. Christian Benteke was chaotic and it was seen as being bad. Suarez was 
chaotic. Suarez was, Suarez was sensational, yeah, wasn't God, he? Bloody hell. Ball in for McAllister. Oh, nice. I think they're they're oh, a no. sleeping giant in this game. Who? If, Liverpool. You just said sleeping giant for a reason, haven't you? What do you mean? Have you like? Have that you done like word in. bingo? Have you, have you oh. told someone you're going to get that in? Because huh? it makes no sense in the context. What yeah. do you mean? They're a sleeping giant in the game. In the context of the game, they are... You've told someone I'm going to get the word term sleeping giant into no this way. stream, you? Definitely. Why can you not extrapolate what I'm trying to say? I, I don't get it. He's done it again. Sleeping giant in the sense that they they aren't smashing Arsenal at the moment. In the final 20 minutes of the game, they're going to ramp up the intensity and smash these lot. I know you very well. Yeah. I know that you've told someone I'm going to get this term. <laughs> I'm not. You have. <laughs> what, what's this? I'm going to get the term sleeping giant in. No. What is it? Free kick? What's going Oh, a corner. Panate, Van Dyke. Yeah. Eesh. Luis Diaz making a nuisance of himself. Curtis that, Jones on the edge. Who's swinging it in? Andy, Andy Roberts. What players come back from injuries as well? Scottish, in the last Scottish general. Great ball. What ball? Oh. Who's that on the edge? Kai Havertz. It's a matter of time before you capitulate. Well, one Canate. Oh. If he, if he, oh, oh, is that Jorginho caught in possession in the box? Swing. You missed that swing and hit him. <coughs> Pen. I think they're all over you, man. This is getting tense. This it's is a brilliant bad, game, man. isn't it? Mm. Yeah, this, this is, is this, this is, is the Premier League. I mean, we can talk control. about we can talk about the Premier League and why it's so good, and some of the reasons and some of the answers aren't great. But it's an half good, isn't it? Yeah, like this yeah. is this is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. We don't get enough of these games. I don't think. I think we're in control of the game right now. I don't think. You're not in control. No, of the you game. were in control in the first half. Yeah, I don't think it's you going. Should have been tuning up. I don't think this game's going by us though. Right now, I just think it's going by you. It's not. I think it is. You're doing all right. Yeah, but yeah, but Liverpool's having a hard You have spell. to win this game, bro. No, of course. <laughs> Boovy, we're in the 50, we're in the 60th minute. We still yeah. half an hour. Well, it's think, not the last I five minutes. I've seen enough today. I don't think you've been good enough of late. This half has been all Liverpool. Mm. It's Theo Walcott. I think he scored about 108 goals in 397. That's incredible courses, knowledge. If I remember bro. rightly. Yeah. Great. You've got the best knowledge on football YouTube. What's ever Olivier seen? Giroud doing there? AC Milan Giroud. Chelsea man. Yeah, he's more Arsenal than Chelsea. He's Chelsea. Will you say he's a Chelsea he, he, he smashed you up in Baku. Yeah, he did, you know. He did. <laughs> smashed you up. Reluctantly as well. He scored those goals. Well, reluctantly. He, he didn't no, want to no. score. I remember the goal. celebrations. Yeah, he, yeah, he went potty. Arsenal in. Right. Arsenal in. They've got to make the most of this. Saka. Look at the overlap. They've got to make the most of this. It's a good hit. And he balloons it. Terrible. It's a bad hit. What's a corner? Is it corner or throw in? Corner, 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 corner. He can't balloon it that much. Not that. He's not I, a terrible don't know, player. I never know with Saka. He's Look, not been very Rice prolific. Good from Rice, isn't it? Driving, driving. driving. That's the Rice we need. Liverpool up. lacked that in midfield, I Look, think. He could have waited for the overlap there. Didn't nah, it wasn't on. Ben White's it was on. Ben White's overlap, man. It's there. It was yeah. so on. F off back to Pret, man. F off back to Gales and Mug. Oh, God. Come on, boys. Come on, Oz. Come on, Oz. Go back to Waterstone by Oz, Zadie Smith, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What is it with Rice yeah, taking white teeth? <laughs> Do you know that's written about Kilburn I Road? So yeah, you know, well, I, book, I, I, I thought of you when I read it. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I couldn't get through all of it, actually. Yeah. What's written about Kilburn High Road? It was the first Z ever Z novel. Zadie yeah. Smith's book, White Teeth. Yeah. It's all about Kilburn High Road. This is very niche, but it's where I grew up. And she talks about a woman, it, like a local nutter in the area. Do you, do you ever know Mad Mary? Yeah, of course I know Mad Mary. Yeah, she, she features in the book. I know Mad she's Mary. She's like a local, yeah, yeah North yeah, West yeah, London yeah. lunatic. Yeah, 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 I know Mad Mary. She's all over North West London. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She'd yeah. never written anything before that book when she wrote it. Yeah. First thing she wrote. Do you know who her sister is, I think? Uh, Doc, Mar Doc Brown. You know the guy that did... Oh my God, oh my he God. didn't see what number in. 20 did. Liverpool in. Oh, oh Jota was carrying the ball. They That's gave the off to Diaz. Mate, this has become end to end. This is brilliant. Martinelli's, Martinelli. Martinelli. Martinelli's the fastest man the in the world, by the way. He smashes him. No, but he did Sends Martinelli for pace school. last time. Mate. He did, you know. He uh, did, um, uh, um, he did uh, uh, Anfield. He did him for pace. Yeah, he did him for pace in this game. That cross for played Harvey Elliott. Well played Harvey Elliott. Oh, oh well, who's that kid of yours on? Why? When did this happen? <laughs> I didn't see this. What? Well, you haven't left. How have you not noticed? I didn't notice that substitution there. This game Kirill. is fantastic. Look, yeah. Declan Rice getting on the ball a lot more. Where this is, this is the kind of game that Declan Rice signed for Arsenal for, isn't it? Like, you know when he left West Ham? It was for games like this. What's come forth with no, Arsenal? Playing, playing Liverpool in a title. That's terrible. Playing Arsenal in a title decide in what Laughing. is effectively a title decider. Yeah. Whoever loses this game is going to struggle to win the league. Yeah. 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 But at the same time, Declan Rice was meant to come in to play with number five. And he's been injured the whole season, so it would have been a whole different Declan Rice. Do you think more goals and assists? What, what part? 100%. Yeah. If he plays, mean, yeah. Yeah, he's, he, yeah, Thomas he's a better six than Rice. He's a better six than Rice. And Rice plays an eight. Mm. 100%. No, so I agree. The, the best Arsenal midfield is undoubtedly Partey, Rice, Odegaard. God, they've 100%. never played together, have they? 
But once. Have they literally? Once, no, once, 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 right once, 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 once. Was it once? A few in. times. Oh, you're a terrible touch, oh, Havertz. What a bad touch, man. That's, mate, it's terrible touch. Oh. Mate, what is he doing? He's now looking for a penalty. He's a f- I can't believe that, mate. He needs to get on side. Can I have a first touch there? He needs to get on side. If he takes that touch properly, he's in on goal. Yeah. Oh, and then he has a cheek to look for a penalty. Open your body up, Took the ball the wrong way. Oh. Is Kai Havertz better than Ivan Tony? God. Oh, my God, no. Because I'm trying to think, why didn't we get him? No, I mean, it's a mistake. I think Arteta, I think Arsenal fans are coming to the... Look, he take that touch. That touch is so bad, man. He's so poor. Oh, look. no, it's a penny, boys. No, he gets the ball. It's completely not a gets the ball. He's not a penny. M- McAllister completely gets the ball. Watch Does the he? ball, watch the ball. Just watch the ball, foot on the ball there. Yeah, but they won't... Never no, 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 that's not, it's not a penalty. No, it's never a penalty. Never. The reason that they're in that mess is because of Kai Havertz's weak touch that gives McAllister the opportunity. Yeah. Uh, Alexis McAllister should never have the opportunity yeah, to get yeah, the yeah. ball. The reason he has the opportunity is because Havertz touches the ball into his yeah, path. Yeah. If Havertz takes that properly... It wouldn't McCallum's surprise me if the refs try and make it. No, 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 no. no, no, no. They've really me. checked it. It's not a penny. Well, they're looking out, aren't they? Oh, it's not it can't be. It's not a pen. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's not a pen. Look, I told you to check it. That's not a pen. They, oh, excuse, my man. God. That's not a pen. They can't... It's not a pen. Oh, it's kind of... Oh, boys, he ain't got no ball. But it's, it's not, not a pen. But they had to check it because they, they can't do their jobs. Yeah, I don't it felt like a pointless check that because we knew yeah, immediately. Idiot, man. And and also, you know, the Mourinho do, do you know, do you know what I think the problem is as well? You know, when you look at that, I know that maybe people would disagree with my opinion on this, but if you look at just the isolated incident, if you look at just the isolated incident, you could suggest it was a penalty because you just watched the feet come together. Yeah. What you haven't seen is the build up where Havertz has made a meal of the touch and therefore the ball has got away from him a bit. So he's lunging, he's not fully in control. That's all relevant. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, it's even more not a penalty. Because he's kind of losing control of the ball because of his poor touch. Well, you're spot on. But the referees always always have to check it and always try and make a, a meal out of it. Do mm. you know what I mean? So. I think Arsenal have been good here, you know. Uh, I don't I don't know. It's all it's all well and good control in a game. I think, you know, Man City have controlled millions of games where we haven't gone on to win maybe the Champions League in certain seasons. Arsenal have controlled big parts of the game. And at a crucial moment, it's still one all. But I thought that one Arsenal all. I thought Arsenal were gonna get walloped today. I really did. When you think about the form that Liverpool have been in, when you look at the way that Liverpool played against Chelsea, like what have Liverpool's record is what? Seven, six, they've got one draw in the last seven or eight. And that draw, by the way, was against Fulham. Insignificant, weren't it? Where they wanted to draw effectively. Yeah, they didn't care. Yeah, the draw meant winning. Yeah, yeah. So the form that they were in, I didn't think that Arsenal would have a prayer today. But they're at home. They've matched they've them. They've gone 1 0 up. No, yeah, I know. I still think they've been better than I thought they'd be. Yeah, that's fair enough, I guess. Oh, they've oh, lost no! the ball. Oh. Wow. Jota, as a pressing forward, is up there with the very best, isn't he? Is he as good as Robbie Fowler as a finisher? Oh, no. That, I couldn't believe listen, when Jamie I have Carragher nothing, said that. I have nothing but love, respect, and I bow down to the boys on the overlap. I think it's the best thing on YouTube, mm. overlap, right? Um, and I know this is a bit weird, considering I'm about to tell Jamie Carragher how to appraise Liverpool anything Liverpool but I think he got it wrong so wrong he got it wrong one of the worst things I've ever heard Jamie Carragher knows more about Liverpool than I could ever dream to know I know that but on this tiny example I think he got it wrong Jamie Carragher saying that Diogo Jota is possibly the best finisher in Liverpool Premier League history is wild you know the same amount as as Jota as Carragher Carragher's never played with Jota no but Carragher has Uh, played Robbie Fowler oh no Miles what's happened Wow, Arsenal. Arsenal will take one up, by the wow. way. You won't believe what has just <laughs> happened here. <laughs> you won't pillar. believe what has just happened here. I, the, the keeper has just made a total and utter hash of it. Alison Becker has just got it so wrong. The coat comes off. Come on, boys. I can't believe it. Becker Guns of all out. people as well. This one. Is it? Becker of Guns all people. Out. Let's go. Oh. You know. Gabriel Martinelli celebrates. I was just saying how good Arsenal have done here. Kanga's or the, uh, Kanga for the keeper. Yeah. For Did the you keeper, not see? Were you not I'm in not, the room? No, that's just... no, mate. The keeper comes out, makes a hash of it, gets muddled with Van Dyke. Martinelli knocks it into an empty net. In the great words of Raz Al Ghul from Batman, order has been restored. <laughs> Thank you very You're much. You're only 2 1 up with 35 minutes to go. No, no, I'm look, just saying. Look, long ball, see? Nothing wrong with a long ball. <laughs> Nothing wrong with oh, oh Alisson, Alisson, Becker. Addison's got that in him a little bit this season. Mm. Oh, good, well done for Martinelli. It's a slight shove. As are, well. they, are they? I'm not suggesting. No, that's that not a foul. Be, not no, I'm not. Still near a foul. Not saying I hope they're not checking. I'm obviously, I'm obviously not saying it's foul. I'm just saying that there is a coming together. That's not a foul. Oh, sorry. Yeah, hundred percent not a foul. 
It can never there be is, a full back, but they're not together. checking it. If, they're, if, they're, if, they're, if, that's not, a, they're not. if that's a foul on Martinelli it's on not, Van Dijk... It's a shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. Oh, I see what happened. What? Alisson kicked what he thought would be the ball because of the shove. That's not our fault. No, wait, wait, wait. The goal stands. I'm not suggesting for one okay. second. I'm just explaining what happened. Sorry. I'm explaining what happened. The reason why it Don't happened. Don't rob us! The reason why it happened, the shove, the coming together, mm. puts Van Dijk off his strider touch, which means that Alisson kicks... Alisson kicks Van Dijk, which means he doesn't kick the football. Yeah, he puts him, in his, puts him in his path. Puts, yeah. Exactly, he puts him in his path. Right, let's see what Liverpool have in them. You know, this is a great game, my God. This is, uh, listen. This is a delectable oh. game. No, listen, Arsenal, don't <laughs> do this. Don't do this. Don't score straight away. Do you, know, do you know what? It's really good, this, because basically both teams today, we've said, let's see what Arsenal are all about at the beginning no, of the game. Do back. Arsenal have it? Oh, are Arsenal injured. ready to show us that they are title contenders? The, the game starts and Arsenal play brilliantly. They go 1-0 up. Yeah, they do. Okay, now we go Liverpool. Do they have anything about them? Do Liverpool have what it takes to come back? Liverpool answer. Then we go, right, pressure on Arsenal now. Arsenal are home team. Both of these teams, I'm envious. I'm going to be quite, totally honest. I'm jealous of both of these teams. Why? Yeah. Because they're playing with such heart and conviction, regardless of how it ends. Yeah. I think both sets of fans... Arsenal loses game 4-2. I That's think their easy. fans can have their head held high. That's too easy. Liverpool loses game 4-2. Oh. I feel like their fans can have their head held high. Oh. I, th I think both teams have really gone for it and it's impressive. Listen, Bottom. I think both Bottom. teams know at the end of the day there's someone right behind them by the name of Man City and either one of us need to win. None of us can really lose this game because if, if we draw... Yeah. Manchester City's they're laughing and then they've got a game in hand in, mm. in the words of Raz Al Ghul from Batman um, <laughs> uh, we're living in the shadows uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we're going to have to stop we're going to have to we're going to have to stop talking about someone I've never heard of in a film too. I've never seen oh, you've never seen the Batman you've never seen Batman. Batman. Seen Batman Batman Begins life, man. Batman Begins man no, but it's Nolan Christopher Nolan man yeah, class that's Batman. a great Martinelli's yeah. on the attack here ball in I'm watching a fantastic series with Sylvester Stallone at the moment he's in a series it's called Tulsa King. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, very good. That's old, isn't it? Oh, no, nice. New, I think. Arsenal again. It's, they're all over Liverpool, oh, you know to be fair. You see they how, all, they're smashing them you know up. My brain, you know how Saka my... gives it into... No, shots on here if he lays it off. Oh, Liverpool! Oh, no, he's <laughs> oh, Surely he had to lay that, lay that off to right. Well, they've kept the ball at least. They've kept the ball. Recycle. Arsenal. Oh. He did, he did well there, though, Saka. You know, yeah. like on the right foot and ping it across. Look at the fans. The fans are on side. They're loving it at the moment. I mean, they should be. The two went up. Oh, of course, but the Emirates, ago. you never know. He got a yellow card. He just came on. This guy's rubbish, Jacob, man. <laughs> it's good when you... When you... Oh, we need... Come on, boys. He's not a left-back, is he? He's not a left... He's not... Yeah, Might get done in. What a cool name, fun. Jacob. Jacob. I'd be a good Jacob. Jacob. That's how you pronounce it. Yeah. Just stand Jacob him up. Better than Lawrence. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got Uncle <laughs> Lawrence. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Yeah. Lawrence is better than Rory. <laughs> Maybe I'm saying I like yeah. Jacob. Jacob had nothing to do with it. You brought Rory's Jacob got... into the Lawrence debate. Yeah, Why just to bring my you, fucking because name? Because into you it? sneered at Jacob. I didn't sneer at Jacob. I went Jacob's a good name. I was questioning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Jacob's a good name, isn't it? Jacob, Jacob, nice. Jacob. His name's Jacob. Jacob. Yeah, yeah Jacob. It, I'm trying to, like Claudio Jacob. Who do you play for? Who? Claudio Jacob. Well, obviously the the Blues, isn't it? Who? The Blues. <laughs> What, what blues? Huh? Chelsea. What blues? He didn't play for Chelsea. in England. Didn't play for Chelsea. Did he play in England? Yeah. Didn't play for a blue side. No, he didn't play for blue side. What colour was, was the either kit? red or blue? What colour was the kit? Red. It was black and white. Who ran? Who did you say? Claudio Yacoub. Oh, Cla Claudio Yacoub. Black and white. Oh, that's that was his like, name. I've never heard of now. him. If you don't exist, I'm walking <laughs> off. <laughs> what was the debate we had about Sol Campbell and Thierry Henry never playing with each other? And Roy was there like, oh, yeah, I saw that. Like I that. saw that. I, I saw like, that. Yeah, I was right. You weren't right. Claudio Yacoub. Oh, right. I thought you were talking about Sol Campbell. Ball over... There he is, the main man. Okay, you've got to get you've got to get the club for Claudio Jakub. He played for two sides in England. Newcastle. He started at Racing Club. Juventus. And he ended at Rosario. No, in England, man. Yeah, he played for two clubs in England. Middlesbrough. One of them 160 times between 2012 and 2018. In what division? Oh, yeah. oh Portsmouth. Premier, Premier League. Sheffield, uh, oh, in uh, Everton. A very, very famous YouTuber support system. Oh, Bolton. No, n not as famous as him. Plymouth. But but more famous at the moment. West Ham. Trending at the moment. West Bromwich Albion. Correct. Have you said his name right? How do you say, how, yeah, how, I've said his name right. No, Don't press on my pronunciation because your spelling, knowledge is enough. Spelling, bro. Claudio Yacoub. Yeah, spell it for me. Y Claudio. A. Yeah. Yacoub. No, you y A. <laughs> <laughs> you said it again. How do you spell it? Y A C O B, I reckon. Claudio. Oh, him, I know him. Claudio yeah, I know he played for West Bromwich Albion. I've never seen him. He's a very hands on kind of player, some uh, West Brom fans would say. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen him in my life. Yeah. Fiddly. Fiddly. Fiddly player, I thought. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I've never seen this guy ever. <laughs> 
tries to stay out. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't make my Pokedex. Sorry. He's not, uh, he's not there for you. We'll have to know, Mars. He, he was hands on. Like hands on player. Like yeah, very, very, friendly. very hands on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very friendly. Super hands on. <laughs> All five hands. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We've got a super chat. And you know what that means? We, uh, Mars is reading this one out. Okay, no problem. Mars, it's gone. Uh, super chat from what's it? What's he says, as an LFC, as an LFC fan, fan, I was terrified of the game and felt we'd lose. I was right. Now City will be the league. We'll win the league, and I hate you, Booby. I couldn't see that. Either. <laughs> I can't see any of them. I couldn't see I that either. How you, can you see that? Really? I can see that. As a as a Liverpool fan, I was terrified of this game and felt that we'd lose. I was right. Uh, you're not you're not right yet, mate. The game's still twenty yeah, minutes still to go. Twenty minutes to go. And now City will win the league. Plus, I hate Booby. Why do you have Why? to read that out with such vitriol? Because you're a trained actor, so you put <laughs> emphasis on a word and you've made a decision to do that because you're an actor. Yeah? No. So you've just... You, why, no, generally, why not, generally why not lower your voice when that word hate goes, and I hate Booby. Oh, but you went, no, hate. But you italicized you shouted. it as much. You shouted. You italicized no, no, it as you much bold, as You put it in bold and underlined no, no, what, it in your acting I deliverance. Did, I did it as it was intended in the super chat. No, he did Did he put it in caps? No, what no, he it's did, all in no but he put it at the end. You generally emphasize at the end, don't you? The, the, you, you build to a crescendo of a sentence. Shakespearean thing, is it? Yeah, you build to a crescendo of a sentence. A give, me, give me a Shakespearean sentence where there's a, a, a climax at the end of the sentence. Hey, I'm not Shakespeare. Well, I'm asking for a... No, but you're an actor. Do you think I just know Shakespeare? You've never performed Shakespeare? Yes, I've done tours on the RSC. Thank you very much. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. What did you Give do? Ham- you look like you did Hamlet. <laughs> oh, I did a fellow. Nice. <laughs> Wicked. My dad and my uncle did a fellow. It was good. Yeah. It was good. That's superb. Yeah, RFC. He's good. That's good stuff. That's yeah. He's from good long, Nicky. A long time ago. Yeah, that's Lifetime well done. ago. Well done. Um, but why did he hate you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Tell but us I've why you hate I've been very complimentary of, uh, of Liverpool. I don't know why you're being like this. Last time you called them Liverpool. Yeah, he's been what calling decision? him that for ages. During the Chelsea game, you were doing a Liverpool VAR. Was I? Yeah, it was your thing. I just live in the moment, mate. You obviously hold on to things. I, I, live, in, I live in the moment. I don't know what I said. Wherever I mean, you lay your hat, that's your home. Yeah, wherever I lay my hat. My hat or uh, you've, yeah. been, you've been on the protein shakes today? I have, yeah, I have, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weights in the gym? Yeah, a little bit of weights, yeah. Glass full of Alizé right to the brim? <laughs> so deep, roll deep, they can't swim? <laughs> doing it for Keisha, doing it for Kim. <laughs> He wants arms out, he wants to swing. <laughs> <laughs> Booby's lost. Oh, Booby. No, have been. you been? You're looking a bit... You know he's always like protein shakes these days. Yeah, yeah, no more chocolate for me. Used to be a Twix, one of those were the, go- oh, they the were golden the days. great days of the club, that. Yeah. They were the it's golden going days. Down since Booby and I used to share a Twix at half time. He's stopped doing that with me. Oh, no, even I bought a Twix here one time. He was like, oh, I like that. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. I thought they were, they were great days. I'll bring them back, but not at the moment. Nah, not before summer, man. Summer's approaching very rapidly, boys. So Jesus. before you blink... Some will be here, and before quick, you blink, it? you need to get your body. Euros, up. Euros be on us. Oh. Euros. Here we go, 15 minutes. Can Arsenal hold on? What does this mean? If, if Liverpool lose this, Great it, d- does it mean anything Great more than <laughs> just three points? Is Good. it more significant? Uh, Is it? Can we tie it into the clock news? It, it can we tie it into the Premier League table? Uh, in terms of like thinking that Liverpool can win the league. What's the table at the moment, Jack? Is this huge news for City? Are they yeah. watching this? This is good for this is good for Manchester City. No, it's not good for City. This is the worst is. result for City. Out of all you three all, results. Don't lie. What are you crazy? The best result for City is a draw. No, the, the best, best result be, for the City The second is... one is an Arsenal win. No. no, no. Sorry, sorry, I've got that wrong. Sorry, I don't know what I'm on about. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> What the? Got what the was. This is amazing for this. Is amazing. This is a great yeah. result so for you. I, I, yeah, yeah. You, this is the you best. You drag back Liverpool. Yeah. You, you, you jump. <coughs> also, he doesn't rate. I'm not saying this is true, but for, if, what, if for what it's worth, Boovy doesn't rate the challenge of Arteta. He'd rather face. Oh, oh we're three points hit, behind McAllister. Arsenal, and we've got two games in hand. Stop doing that, Jack. We'll please. smash Arsenal. At the Etihad. Honestly, in my life, we'll smash Arsenal four 0 at the Etihad. So that's one. That's one game back. You ain't gonna win the league. Get out of it. <laughs> oh, that's it. so close. Look, 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 look at these two red X's. We're give it look at two red X's, Miles. Look at two red X's there. That means that's West, down, two that's West Ham, West Ham, Fulham, Fulham, West Ham, Fulham. Bloody hell, we would have been up there, man. But look, look, even one of them, even one of them, Miles. Even just the Fulham game where you went one. Even the Fulham game where you went one. Even if it's draws, away from home, you should have been drawing that game. So that's the issue for Arsenal that they're emotional, they're sentimental, and when the pressure wasn't even on. Christmas isn't pressure, is it? Nah, it's, not it's not March. It's not March. So, so hang on. Do you know, this is the first time, if it finishes like this, this will be the first time in the Premier League for a long time that Manchester City have had it in their own hands. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if we win Manchester games, City, man. If Manchester City win their games, they win the league now. That's the first yeah, time yeah, it's been yeah, there. Yeah. You've been, up until recently, you've been relying on Liverpool dropping points, I relying on Arsenal dropping points. 
You think you're going to win it? I, I, I'm, it's an eye test. There are gaps in the Arsenal side. There are gaps in the Liverpool side. We're seeing it with a high-scoring game. Both are conceding goals. This City side looks scary good. And I'm not just sitting... Look, yeah, but if I was your... sat here and we'd lost to Spurs in the FA Cup and we'd lost there, lost there, lost the Club World Cup, I'd be sat... I, I would be genuine about it. But the, the way City are playing... It's it'd be terrifying for me if I was Jurgen City Klopp and Arteta. Like they're coming back into form, man. That's the, thing. the Spurs result was so good. I was chatting to Flav about it for our club debate. That'll be coming out soon on the channel. He said, "I've I've never what, seen what, what it that game? flat in there for a long time." Spurs, Spurs what, what, City was it FA, 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 FA Cup game? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ange had no answers. It was inevitable. We all left the stadium. Flav said, saying, "Off oh, well." City they were do you think he could take something from? Do you think he could take something from a different competition and bring it into the Premier League? I know it's momentum, but it's not the Premier League though. Yeah, but Klopp did that with no. Yeah, I think, you know, I, I think winning other trophies it it makes you more likely to win more trophies. Yeah, of course. But I'm just he's he's mentioning an FA Cup game, mm. and fair enough, you went because Liverpool beat us. But by now the way, Saka is going off injured here. Wow, yeah, it's a little niggle. Got Reese Nelson coming on. Yeah, well, what can we do, Boofy? Who should go? Oh, give us, give us. Um, you should have better Doku options. Then. You should have better. You should have better options. Give us Doku then. But you, yeah, but you're not. You're you not. should have better options because Kai Havertz shouldn't be a midfielder, and the money that you spent on Havertz should have been spent on on a winger. You should have bought Mudrik or whatever it was. Totally. We tried to go for Kudus. Kudus, yeah. He said no. Mate, he's a like player, him. Yeah, we wherever there's him. wherever there's a Kudus, there's a way, isn't there? You know, from West Ham. <laughs> you know, I was watching that game the other night. You just think they were always likely to get something out of the game. Because of kudos being about, and mm. obviously James Will Prowse always going to ping in a penalty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big, big news. This the fact that um, the fact that Saka went off injured, like depending on the significance of the injury, mm. like that could be season defining. In I don't think he's looked right today. He, I think he looks. I think he's good. I look good. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not, no, it's not the only couple. metric by which we judge a player. He, I don't think he's been exceptional today, has he? Nah, but you, listen, at the end of the When's day, the last time he has. Been? I don't think anybody on this pitch has been exceptional. Though. I just think it's been a bit part kind of game. Everybody's just take, it's, it's, it's sporadic. Difficult, it's moments. difficult to shine in yeah. a game like this. Saka, yeah, Saka was a rebound as well. I'm, I'm not, not no, discrediting anyone for scoring oh, a goal. Oh, you've got to be offside. stronger. Than, okay, stop. Sorry. Sad. Saka to me always can't be offside. It was a throw in. What's happening? Oh, it weren't his throwing. So I was about to say, how could he be offside? It was a throw. He got thrown, thrown to him and it got stopped. I don't get it. But it was no, it's a Liverpool throw. He's, the, the Arsenal player just took it. Liverpool haven't been able to get back in the game, have they? No foothold in the game, really. Yeah, but it just takes one moment. This is where their midfield struggles. They've got struggles. players like Jota and these guys who can creep up at the back, yeah. at, at the back stick. Mm. But they haven't controlled the game enough to like get their ball another, into the front you know what I, think? I, I honestly think that the game now, we're approaching the 80th minute any second now, 2-1 mm. Arsenal. I think there's another goal in the game. I think so as well. Whether whether it's an Arsenal winning the game more emphatically yeah. or Liverpool winning the uh, getting a draw, three one be an amazing I've, result, wouldn't it? That'd be like wow. Then they've beaten City and Liverpool at home in the in the league. That's great. But the problem is they've Fulham you know, and West Ham. Man. Fulham and West, yeah. But also, do, do you know what happened with the West Ham one? In a way, the West Ham one is worse than the Fulham one because the West Ham one broke the illusion of the Emirates. You know the you know the spell at the Emirates. Yeah, like they couldn't lose. lose. They yeah. can't lose at the Emirates. They were they had a fantastic home record. Suddenly, West Ham had gone there and won two 0 and missed a penalty. Okay, so do you think yeah. it would have been we lose at because we draw at Anfield, we lose at Anfield, draw to West Ham, mm. and then lose to to Fulham? Do you think it would have been better that way because we still yeah. would have had our home? Yeah, record. I think preserving home, pre preserving those records is important. I think. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think preserving. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. Right? No, I yeah. do. I do. Yeah. Um, like the fact that Arsenal were invincible at home, I think it did mean something. Yeah. It and was, I saw it against Nottingham Forest at home, first game of the season, I think it was, and, and they could have scored a couple. Yeah, Aaron Johnson was through on goal, so I don't think. Uh, but I don't take anything first game have of the season. Have you ever genuinely though? thought Arsenal were invincible at home? No, but it was hard to yeah, beat. Well, no, but but they they were, but, mate, yeah, but, yeah, but no, they were. If you need a big, okay, maybe I'm speaking as a City fan. I'm lucky. I'm very lucky where yeah. we are. No, but nobody could win there. Oh, yeah. like it's not. It's not my opinion. People wasn't winning there. Yeah, it's not. Booth, it's not my opinion. No, no, literally nobody could win. It's not. It's not like I'm going. I got the feeling that they. Would always win when no, they were no, no, I'm not saying you they are. Literally I'm went not, I'm not they saying you are. No, but they literally welcomed team after team after team, slapped them, slapped them, slapped them. Yeah, and they beat us there. So what can I say? But it, it never. And so I see a big. Uh, if they beat Bayern Munich in the semi final mm. of the Champions League, that's, that's of, when we're talking. Mate, three, they, they've three. only lost three of their last thirty three Premier League games. That's incredible. Home. Bearing that, in mind that's, you, that's, you that's, only play nineteen in a season. Yeah, yeah. That's so like they've lost three out of thirty three. Yeah, until Bayern Munich. Which is why I think the defeat to West Ham at home actually meant more than. Yeah. yeah, especially to a team like West Ham. Yeah, but Liverpool can't control the, the, the game. That's their midfield lacking. It really is. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? That's number twenty. Jota. He ain't getting back. Look at his number twenty. Look at number twenty. Look at look at Jorginho. Mm. Look at Jorginho. Look no, at Jorginho. It's not his game, Jorginho. Not yeah, his yeah, game. Yeah, it's not his game. Oh, you can't lose it there. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
it's not his game, Jorginho. But at the same yeah, time, we can't good. take off Jorginho because yeah, well, that was a nice pass. Yeah, yeah. Canate. Canate is good on the ball, man. God, mm. underrated on the ball. Oh no, Gomez. He's going for the corner. He's going for the corner. And he's he won in the corner. He has, he won the, the has he won it? I don't think there's anything wrong with giving him the corner. I don't there, like though. corners, man. No, you don't want to give it away, but you've got to be safe. You've got to be like being safe is so much more important than like trying to retain possession and then getting caught out, as we saw in the first half. Mm. This is spectacular. Great. Can I just goal. say, chaps, I've had a really good day. Here. Like, this Likewise. Is, you've managed to turn it. My team get absolutely <laughs> battered earlier. <laughs> And then I get to discount that from my mind and just enjoy a game of football with you lot. And yes. everyone, thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you very much. Movie, by the way, you know when you asked for subscribers earlier? Yeah. We lost three. That's our... I asked Jack. No way. Why would you say that? Jack told me at half time. Yeah, but why say it live? I'm just telling you your impact on the channel. Oh, I forgot. Maybe you say something then. Maybe it's my impact. You no, say. no, because Boovy went, will you subscribe? And we lost three. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jack, why would you say that? <laughs> Guys, Jack's subscribe. The, you know, Jack, Jack's the biggest gossip on the club. He's like Colleen Nolan from, from, from <laughs> Loose, Loose Women. women. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Janet Thingy, what's her name? Janet Street Porter. Janet Street Porter. Uh, Honestly. Yeah. Forget the other girls. So I go to the toilet, you gossip that we lost three, three subscribers. Mm. Absolutely See embarrassing. See if you can get them back. I think we gained loads, I I but YouTube back. hasn't updated yet. <laughs> okay, Miles is going to do it for us. Let's go see on, if Miles. Miles can have a... Oh my God! Oh. Would you have been offside? No. Hang on a minute. That's the best chance that you could ever dream of. They're left back when... I Oh my god! Oh to... my god, Arsenal! Take it on the chest. That's a fantastic pass from Martin Odegaard, clipped in, and it's just headed back like a back pass straight into the grateful arms of Alisson. Now... Nunes. And now Nunes, Nunes is on the other end. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Nunes is a spanner, man. Lad, if look at these, if, two, look if, at these if, two. If, they're, they're weird, lads, man. If that was weird. Arsenal do not win this game, yeah, we're, we're, it's that header. It's the soccer, it's that, it's, it's the soccer chance. No, no, no. It's that one just now. That one just now. Yeah, the, the, yeah. the pass just through saying, from Odegaard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pass through from Odegaard. You cannot ask for more than that. And, he, <laughs> and also, he didn't make the keeper make a great save. He just nudged it back to him. <laughs> <That> shot, man. <laughs> uh, honestly, I want to bang mad in the table. Not even a Liverpool fan. Yeah, that, but the thing is, Nunes Nunes, finish. Fucking he would do that, shit. and then after he'll take it on the edge and put it top corner. How do you say cart horse in Uruguayan? That's what I want to know. How do you say, I think we need Googled. to find out. You can Jack, definitely Google that. Jack, we need to find out. Oh, boys. They cart them, horse, Uruguayan, please. Google them them. Do you need something? Can you go for another word a little bit more? There'll Do be like donkey. a donkey. Yeah, go for donkey. Guy's a donkey, isn't he? Donkey in. Yeah. in yeah. Type in Ur donkey. You couldn't hit a Spanish. barn door. You couldn't, hear, Spanish, it, right? you couldn't hear a barn door. Okay, so type Spanish. Oh, yeah. Spanish donkey. Extrapolate, mate. Okay. No, but you did say Uruguayan. Yeah, the Uruguayan version of Spanish. Fuck it, no, we'll get <laughs> back to the Uruguayan school. version yeah, of Spanish. It is. It's a different accent. It's burra. 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 Burro. Okay, now burro. let's hear your. Now let's hear the, <laughs> the little sentence. M Nunes burro. es un burra. <laughs> That's burro. It's burro. 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 Burra is the Masculine. female. It's female. Masculine. Female donkey. Burro. <laughs> burro. <laughs> burro. If he went in. Burro. 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 He is a car horse, and he really is. God. I think, you know what? The thing is with Darwin Nunes, yeah. I'll take, it, I'll take him at Arsenal, you know. Yeah, but yeah, he's better take than yeah. side. I'll, I'll take, take him at Arsenal. I'll take him at Chelsea. He'd get, he'd be our best player. He, he's you he's you, crazy. You take after side, Miles. Who? Who's, who's, you Liverpool. take after Liverpool side any, anyway. You take the keeper, you Not take half. the centre. I would half. take... I, I, I'm and just looking four. at the amount. I would take... 11. <laughs> In fact, I would take 22. I would take the 22 on the pitch. We'd have a new oh, spot. Oh, for Chelsea, 22. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would get rid of Switch every it. single Chelsea player. Can you imagine this was a squad? Every single... Can you imagine this was a squad as a 22 squad? Yeah, what do you mean? wins the league. <laughs> wins oh, the, oh, no, if you, did a com if you did a combined 11, how many Arsenal players get in the Liverpool team realistically? Three. Three, yeah. De Two. Declan Rice, Saka. Rice gets in. Saka, no, I don't think Saliba Saka doesn't in. get in over uh, oh, Salah. Salah. It's Salah. None of them get in. Yeah, but one day he has to move. He has to move Rice gets in for McAllister. Yeah, Rice, Saka, yeah. Saka gets in, boys. Just move, move him over. Move him over. Move him where? Rice gets in. Who? Jota has to play down the middle. Not Jota. Jota's better than Jesus. All right, Jota and then, left wing. And then Saka. Saka's no. better than um, Diaz. He's a better I'm not player play, than I'm Diaz. I'm what what happens at the back? Is out of, Saliba out, and... Saliba and no, Saliba. Is Saliba better than Canate? No. Saliba and, and Van Dijk, man. Come on, boys. Mark it's, my words. Just to ask a question. Canate will win more trophies in his career than Saliba. Mark my words. Is Sal is Saliba, Mark my words. Is, is this a hill that you're Mark dying? my words. I'm just to ask yeah, a yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, is Saliba that it's very definitely better than... Yeah, it's marginal. But you've got to remember that Saliba hasn't played with a Van Dijk and Canate is playing with Van Dijk. That's man. No, but he's still showing the level. But Canate's played with Quanta, who's, who's 20 years old. He's played with him for yeah. a little bit. He's, he's, he's been fantastic yeah, with he's Quanta. But he's played with Gabriel for his first season and, and his title challenge. Saliba's so had and, and, a better partnership than Canate's thought, had. By the way, oh, there's, there's more because of the keeper. More of a consistent partnership. The, the keeper is Becker. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the keeper is keeper, Liverpool. Back four. The keeper is Liverpool. It's Rice going into Liverpool. Robertson. Both full-backs are Scouse. 
only person that gets in there is Saliba. He's the only one that no, gets Rice. in that back force. That no, back four, the back four. Oh my oh. God. He's on the yellow already. He's on the yellow already. He's on the yellow already. Do the right thing. Oh my God. Is that a red? It's a red. Wow. This Canate's is off. Huge on the title race. Huge on the title race. This is huge, man. Yes. I can't believe it. Boovy, what's your thoughts Look. with regard to this moment? Title race, Man City. Uh, not only have Liverpool dropped points, but they're a man down. Well, yeah. And what they're missing for three games or whatever it is. So yeah, it's, it's, from it's a good winning position. From your position. perspective... Arsenal have won, which is good news. Yeah. Canate's been sent no, no, off, no, which no, is good news. <laughs> Arsenal winning, yeah. which, from your perspective, is good news. Yeah. yeah, yeah, please. Mate, so many events today are going to be significant to the title race. The title race, right? Mm. Arsenal looking like Liverpool are going to drop points. Canate sent off. Saka injured. Mm. So many moments in this game are going to have ramifications. On City on you got Brentford on Monday. Who? Brent is, City who? play yeah, Brentford. On Monday. So that's a nice, beautiful little fixture, really. They've done a home double over you last year, didn't they? Yeah, home or your away? Bring that up. They did do the double over you last year. No home comment. or away? Uh, uh, away. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. You try and go to that. Go You're going to go? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Should go to that. I've not been to Brentford. Yeah. yeah. I enjoy Spurs a massively. Yeah, I know. You, yeah, get, you wouldn't yeah. get a ticket in a city, end, but you would get a ticket. Uh, no, yeah. Unless you know yeah. someone in a city. End. No, but no, you, yeah. you, You'd struggle, I think, away, but you'd get one. Brentford's a nice little ground to go to. Yeah, I've not even thought about it. Yeah. Kai Havis is easy. You go to You go to Chiswick. Yeah, I know. I used to play football near there, actually. Yeah, it's not hard to get to. Westway. Ball Lake. Oh, no, the Westway's not near there. No, the Westway's Lebra Grove. On the pitch. And the pitch is under the Westway. Yeah. Yeah, that's not near Brentford. That's, that's is not it not? Nah, no, I used to see Brentford Stadium nah, from, the, from the road. No, no, no. You see it miles away. It's near Loftus Road. It's close Loftus. That's oh, right. Loftus Road you'll see it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Loftus Road. That's QPR. That's you're White seeing, City. <laughs> you idiot. You're nowhere near it. You know see it when we're going Sky. You see it when you go to Sky. No, Loftus Road is Loftus Road is very close to the Westway pitch. Yeah, yeah, wait, it's around the corner. It's White City. Literally around the corner. Oh, here we go. Arsenal are in. Oh. Got to get their I can't believe Arsenal won this. You've got to give so much credit to Arteta. Like, you really do. This is a... Oh, do you think, is it oh, going to be a lot of added on time? I don't know. Hope not. Two, two deflect, not deflected goals, but kind of a rebound. No, 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 no. Boo, 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 boo. Beginning of this game. <laughs> no, no, no. No, but no, I'm no, just asking. No, He's doing no. it. Is there no narrative? No. He's doing Explore it. Explore it. He's doing it. He's just give at us the beginning credit. of this game. At just the give us four At once. the beginning of this game, I said to Miles, and I, and I thought Liverpool were going to win, but I said to Miles, at the beginning of this you, game, mate. you agreed with me as well. I said, today is a brilliant day at the office for Arsenal if they win. It's a terrible day at the office if they don't win. Yeah. It, and yeah, we said, nothing matters apart from the points. It's bottom. And they've I'm just, I'm just throwing out and even you told me, you, even he told me, you sat here and said, I said, I want a good performance. You said it doesn't matter. Yes, yeah, exactly. Just what get I, it I said that. I said exactly. Yeah, you oh. both just told me, just get it done, Mars. Yeah, you win the game. You win the game and you can be happy. You can play well okay. and not win the game and you've got to be upset. I'm just, look, I, uh, it's just a discussion, lass. I'm just throwing the no, debate no. out. Just take, just, a look, no. just take the Man City out for Seven two seconds. Minutes. For two seconds, if just you don't win this game, you bottled it. Yeah, but a hundred percent. Okay. hundred percent. From now. Yes. From now. Yeah. Seven minutes. hundred percent. If they get a draw You've got to hold this, on now. We've bottled it. It's called it. squeaky bum time. Okay. I don't think it's that much of a squeaky bum it time. It is. This is huge for your, for your lives at Arsenal. It's huge. huge for your life. It's massive. <laughs> that, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Keep don't do anything you... but that. Arsenal. It's funny, isn't it? When something winds you up and it's not even your team. Imagine how I feel about my own team. This is the biggest seven minutes of the season. This is a, just look after the ball. You've just given it back. Lumped You've literally it. just Guys lumped it grand a week. straight oh, back. Kick, man. At least yeah, put it for a throw on in the corner. Do you know now is the stage of the game. Arsenal need to protect this ball like it is a newborn baby. Just, oh, just you know, look you, after the football like oh, it man. is do you know who the most that? precious thing in your life. Do you know who did that well the other day? Man City. Do you remember against Newcastle? You was in yeah. the corner for five yeah, holding minutes. The ball. Holding Kevin the ball. De Bruyne. Yeah, yeah. No, don't, go. don't go for goal. Don't go for goal. Here we go. Oh, it's 3-1 Arsenal. Go for goal. Go for goal. <laughs> go for goal. <laughs> go for goal. That keeper's had a mare today. Go for goal. That yeah. keeper's had a mare. Yes! Yes! That's what, what it's about. Like that. That's what it's about. You can't celebrate like that. That's what it's about. You can't celebrate like that. You celebrate like they won the league. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? <laughs> it's, this is your last club. No, you have to because club, this is your last time here. In this, in this season, true, in this true. league, that's true. You can't come to my ground and get something here, though. We can't say about that. No, no, he, we deserve that's winning it. Winning the FA Cup final. No, I that's get it. I get it. I get it. No, I get it. But this is your Wait, last hurry. You might lose your Wait, next game. Alison Becker has had a mare. Can't get beat near post. By Trossard through the legs. Also, it wasn't. It wasn't like a good opportunity. It wasn't a, it wasn't a good, it wasn't effort. A good shot. No, you that's the best celebration, boys. What well a mod. Thank you very much, man. No, nah, no worries, man. All the best, man. Told you when the shirt comes off. Oh, done good. Done him. Done him good. Oh, yeah, it's been out of his depth. Great sub. Great sub by Mike. Mate, look, Rick nobody's supporting. He just goes off. Oh, sod it. Okay, I, love it. Cool. I was deflected as well. It's off Van Dyke. But Van Dyke and Allison today, man. <laughs> <laughs> Van Dyke and Allison. <laughs>
Look, Trossard's half panicked, I think. He's like, nobody supporting me. Spun in off Van Dijk. Is that an own goal? Is it going in? Is it on um, target? Yeah, that's on target. Just about. Is it? Oh, no. That's not an OG. That's an OG. It's an an OG. If it's goal. not on target, it's an OG. That's on target. It's going. That's it's going not, wide. Mate, it's going wide. Boy, it's take Allison out the goal. That's too wide, man. Come on, man. I want him to get the goal. You want him to get the goal. That's going to be an own goal. Why does it matter? There's no way that's going in. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Arteta's. Look, where, where's Klopp going? The guy's a flake. Klopp? Is that Klopp? The guy's a no, flake. that ain't Klopp. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't Klopp, man. <laughs> he's, a, he's a flake. He's a 99 flake, isn't he? I can't stand Oh, get the guy. out of here, Boofy. No, he's just beating though. Klopp at home. No, it's, it's a pressure game for you, us. We're going to try and go for the league. Mom. And you're saying he's a flop. We scored last minute to make it 3 1. Everybody but, can have a moments in your Mate, career. You not man. agree that the way he celebrated was FA Cup. It was a bit OTT. Yes, I get it. It was a bit OTT. But this is the issue, right? This emotion, is why this it? is why it's a thing because it creates emotion in the side. If you see your you want your manager when you scored that third goal mm. to be sat there Get like back, that. Lads. Concentrate, lads. Concentrate. No, we, yeah, but Mourinho just... used to do it. He used to do high fives with his staff sat there. Now his... your boy's running up and down the touchline. He's out of control. Who's in control of Arsenal? Uh, Mikel Arteta's It's a small comment. I know you're winning the game. I'm not, to to be a, I'm not trying to be a, like a shithouse or a down or anything Listen, like that. Listen, you're being... I'm not trying to be a negative up, Nancy, man. but... Let us, just, let us enjoy this moment. But We're beating for Liverpool 3-1 at home. We're the best team in the league right now. What do great managers do? Every commentator ever I've seen Arsene Wenger sit down cold as ice and we've won. I've seen I've seen it, Boofy. I've seen Arsene Wenger sit down cold as ice while we're winning games. I've seen him celebrated. No, but not Cel like that. Not yes, he did it at Old Trafford. He celebrated hard. When and you won the league. Huh? When you won the league. Yeah, but Boofy, we never know what's going to happen. We've still got months and months of football to play exactly. still. So this could be a you... moment, a uh, uh, defining but moment you've got months and months to play. The emotion has to come back down because if it's the Champions League semi-final, you've got one more game left. Yeah, but... Fair enough. you got... What, I'm not 15 having it. other more because if we lose games. this game, be, 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 we're out your the next league. game, Brentford or whatever, and you have it to get the emotion matter, back on. Taking, not every game can be Mars, this emotional. Is Boovy right? He's even, even, if he, even if he's being, even if he's being a little bit Scrooge, is he right because of the emotion that we saw on display from Arsenal when you went away to Villa Park and Emmy Martinez cushioned header into his own net? Yes, and everything went mad and you celebrated, yes. and then you celebrated again. The yes. and then basically you ran out of steam because you can't, you can't have. What have we got? 16 games for the end of the season? You can't have 16 cup finals. You can't win 16 cup finals. <laughs> Kai Havertz tried to... He, the guy's a car horse. He's trying to hold the ball in the corner. He doesn't even realise who it last cut came off and he just rolls out and he gave it back to Liverpool. Absolute oh, rubbish. He can't was, even hold the ball in the corner bit, yeah. right. <laughs> he can't even hold the ball in the corner right. He's an idiot. Well. Yeah, yeah, going, back to, going back to Boogie's donut. point. Going back to your point. Yeah, I understand that he did. He, he over celebrated a little. Some, I know. You know what? To me, no, he didn't even over celebrate. He did. He did. I don't he even did. care. You know why I don't care? Why? Because if they did beat us today, everyone would have said that Arsenal, you've bottled it. You've got no belly. You're not good enough to win this I league. I said that. Everyone would have said that. <laughs> and now that we've done it, we've beaten them 3-1 at home and Liverpool was the, the the favourites. They have the better attack. We've outplayed them today and we scored three goals to one. You have outplayed I'm, them. No, celebrate. I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, celebrate. The, the celebrate. great managers hold it in until no, May the 25th. Why? why should we, celebrate? Why should we hold wait, it in? Who's, because it, you, 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 it's why going too game? early. You're going too early yeah, but, but again. It happened last season. Yeah, but you were Boofy. celebrating. You were doing you were doing laps of the stadium Boofy. when you got you were getting wins against Bournemouth last minute. Yeah. Mm. I remember that game. Yeah, because that was a defining It wasn't defining because it's never it's never defining until you win the league. It's never defining until you lift the trophy. And this might be defining. If we, if, if we win the league, be. if we win the league by, say we win the league by two points yeah. or by a point yeah. by Liverpool, but and Liverpool come second, we come first. This is the game that yeah. we beat them. It's just, a, it's just a small observation. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer on your celebrations. <laughs> I don't want to be a negative narrative. You are being a Debbie but, Downer. But there has to be a narrative where like... If and you're back it's Arsenal. <laughs> Arsenal FC. What's better for the first 11? Seeing Mourinho sat there with his overcoat like that. Mm -hmm. That's what's better to be expected as well. You know that yeah, kind yeah. of approach. We beat him. The thing, the thing I'm is, the best manager. We beat him. So what happens when Klopp does that and he's been doing that his whole he, career he, and doing he all does that rubbish? It. He does it, and then he after he, acts he off. win games at home to. But he can he can celebrate how he wants. Uh, Jurgen Klopp. He's already won everything in football. But he was doing it. Your up boys. And, no, your he boys was doing it while they was going for the league. Your boys won uh, uh, caretaker the, of the month award at the Man City no, training academy, putting out the cones. That's what he's won. And we haven't seen Pep lose his mind. Yeah, I've seen Pep, Pep can do anything he wants. Pep can do anything he wants. Why? Because he's won everything all the time. And we're and we're and we're trying to win everything. So yeah. let us, you're losing let us this enjoy. debate. Yeah, you are you're losing. losing this you're debate. losing. Come on, you're bro. losing this debate. What are you doing? I'm just letting you know that you're losing. What are you this debate. doing? What, in your opinion? No, not in my opinion. You are. I'm going to make debate. it four. Miles is killing you. Oh. <laughs> Miles is Miles is killing you in this debate. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> why? It makes no Everything sense. Everything he's saying is correct, and you're just like making rules up and yeah. making up nicknames. Because well, you don't believe Klopp you. can do it, but Arteta can't. Well, Guardiola can do it, but Arteta can't. But they Every never time did. He, go, he goes, well, well, Klopp did it on the way to winning the league, and you're like, 
Well, he's Klopp, he can do what he wants. It's over. <laughs> it's over. And then you started talking about negative Nancys and Debbie <laughs> Downers. And you've had a mare in that one. Yeah. Well played, Miles. Fair play to Miles won that one. 10 6 at least. Thank you, boys. Well done, bro. I'm well done. Well done. Unlucky. Thank you. Um, huge, Miles. Huge, huge, Great huge. Win. Great win. Great win. Great win. Great it's win. about as big as it could get, isn't it? It's yeah. about as significant as it could get great win and, and I'm not saying this Bukayo Saka the there is big as well he's not in a treatment room he's not in a t like, he went off injured uh, he's and he's not on a bed it's fine no but you, it's still good to see it's still <laughs> yeah, good to see he's, no, not, he's not strapped up is yeah, he yeah, it's good it's good it's good to see it's a good win and I'm not saying this is the win that's <coughs> going to make us win the league but it shows that these boys have got heart and they've got hey, belief if you win the league this is exactly the win that will make you yeah win. no but I'm yeah. just saying yeah but I'm just yeah. saying I, all I want to do as an Arsenal fan and all Arsenal fans is we just want to be there at the end I don't want us to because if we lost now we're off. Yeah. We finished. You're spot on. It's finished. I just want to be there at the end. Let me see what happens. I'm having a look. Let you, me see what the comments You've got to beat City of the Etihad. <laughs> no, I can take a draw there. I can take a draw there. Uh, mathematically, you can't. I can. You can. It all depends on movie. You got can't win a debate to save your life. So, Zoo. Ha ha. You just, hold you that just movie. type that in. No, look. Hold that movie. I can't read that. I don't know who that is. I'm movie can't win a debate to save your life. Royce. No, I'm just letting you know. I don't know. know. It might be Auntie Jennings. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, look, Debbie Downer and Negative Nancy. Come on. What? A Dumbo. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Come on, there man. I've been doing uh, lots of people are saying great result. Great result for City. Whatever Rory says, go the opposite and you'll be right. Oh, um, why did you, oh, why don't did you read, read that, that about yourself, <laughs> man? I can't, I can't lie. I just gave Boovy a bit of stick. I can only... Is there any bit of stick about me in there? Hold that, you nerd. <laughs> Although that could be at me. He hasn't actually said who that was. Or Miles. Why not could Miles? Be Miles? I don't think Miles, Miles is a nerd. One of us is a nerd. I'm not a nerd. So Dummy, Boris. dumb, dumb is you. How do you know that? That's what it says. Rory needs Why are you reading the comments? You've not been doing that all stream. Now Rory, you're reading the comments out. Rory is a genius. Let's talk, about, let's, let's talk about this win for Arsenal, taking Arsenal 50 points clear of Chelsea. We're getting relegated as we speak, right? So let's talk about that. Let's talk about Chelsea getting smashed uh, by Wolves. Why would you, you do sound that? sound salty now. Rory huh? Numpty. Come on. Why are we mentioning Chelsea? They got smashed Chelsea? by Wolves. <laughs> did you watch the game? <laughs> Mate, I did. Don't, yeah, I did. don't start on me because Miles just slapped you Chelsea up Chelsea are bottom half. You spent a billion quid and you ruined football for everyone. Mate, Thanks a lot, Rory. Miles just beat you badly in a debate, so now you start here's, trouble with me. Here's to Stamford Bridge. Here's to Chelsea. It's oh, all look, falling look, down. He's, he's, he's panicked now. Look, you can see that Boovy's actually panicked cause, <laughs> because he got done by Miles so badly. Look, Miles <laughs> just celebrating. Because he got done by Miles so badly, he's now panicked. I'm not so panicked. So he's just now going to talk about Chelsea being mid table. You're not mid table, you're below mid table. Yeah, but that's mid table. No, it's not mid table. Mid, mid, you've got to be 10th to be mid. The, mid table's 10th. No, middle. No, no. 11th is below mid table, team, bro. More than one team <laughs> is called you're mid table. Below, no, more than not, one no, team is considered one, mid table. Tenth. No, if you go, we finish mid table. It doesn't you're mean tenth. you were slap banging the but middle. You're, of the mid you're table. 11th. No, you're your bottom half. Oh, you're having another You're bottom half. You're having another In the same half, you get relegated. you in here. 20th is the same. you marry me, Booby? do you want to marry Alloy is a fish? Alloy is a fish. Do you want to marry him? No, thanks. Right, let's say thank you very much. Thank you very much to Super Six. That was a great stream, boys. Yeah, thank yeah, you very thank much, Miles. Thank you very much, I loved it. Yeah, make sure you download Super Six. Obviously, the chance to win £250,000 every single week and join our mini league. It's Club 23 as well. It's a huge opportunity to win some cash for some football predictions. Thank you very much to Super Six. Uh, congratulations to Miles. Uh, and obviously, very enjoyable with Rory as well. Uh, we'll see you very, very soon.